Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Dragon Ball. Starting Reward Super Saiyan God. Chapter 76. The moment the voice roared out, a dark red aura instantly erupted from his body. On top of the orange-red flame, a jet of dark red gas once again appeared. The entire sky was bursting with arrogance, and the codewords were instantly rendered dark red. Phew. What the? Quote. This guy's anger suddenly skyrocketed. He didn't even have the strength to take it out. Quote. Feeling Chin Feng's chi skyrocketing in an instant, Beerus's face changed drastically. Because at that moment, Chin Feng's chi made him feel threatened. Of course, not only Beerus, but even Weiss was very surprised. Because in his information, Chin Feng had not used this ability to improve his chi in an instant. I thought the battle was about to end with the victory of Lord Beerus. Unexpectedly, Chin Feng suddenly became stronger again, and the chi he showed now was not weaker than that of Lord Beerus. In this case, the outcome becomes a mystery again. And Sun Wukong, Vegeta and others have long opened their mouths in shock. What's the matter, Kakarot, when did you teach the Realm King Fist to that guy Chin Feng? After feeling Chin Feng's incomparably powerful divine aura, Vegeta said very jealously. Kakarot, the didn't teach the Realm King Fist to himself, but instead taught it to Chin Feng. Although I don't bother to learn it myself, this feeling of being directly ignored by Kakarot is not comfortable. I haven't taught Chin Feng Realm King Fist. Sun Wukong also shook his head. I don't know why. Why Chin Feng was also able to cast the Tenfold Realm King Fist, this was completely unclear to him. And he was able to superimpose the Tenfold Realm King Fist on the basis of the Super Saiyan God, which is simply looking for death. You must know that the consumption of physical energy and the damage to the body are particularly great. I have also tried to superimpose the Realm King Fist on the basis of the Super Saiyan transformation before. But only once on the Great World King Planet after he died. And I didn't have a physical body at that time, so I was able to succeed. Unexpectedly, on the basis of the Super Saiyan God, Yi Ching would also be able to superimpose the ten times Realm King Fist. Isn't he afraid that his body won't be able to bear it? Cut, less garlic, Kakarot, Realm King Fist, that's your stunt, not who will teach you. Vegeta said unrelentingly. Speaking of the Realm King Fist, I was a little annoyed. You must know that when you first came to Earth, you were hit hard by Kakarot with the Realm King Fist. Leads to the defeat of their own colony ball. What am I lying to you for? Sun Wukong gave Vegeta a roll of his eyes, and then continued, Besides, my Realm King Fist was taught to me by Lord Realm King. Quote. Maybe Chin Feng's Realm King Fist was also taught by Lord Realm King. Cut. Hearing Sun Wukong's answer, Vegeta could only look away with an angry face and look at Chin Feng. Why is this kind of good thing always encountered by them? Didn't you just knock me down? Why don't you do it, Beerus? Quote. After casting the Tenfold Realm King Fist, Chin Feng sneered and said to Beerus. Now my physical strength is almost in a state of almost inexhaustibility. Enough to sustain ten times the energy consumption of the Realm King Fist. And because the Tenfold Realm King Fist exchanged by the system has no side effects at all, there is no need to worry about being damaged by the body. Do you want to win me with this kind of sideshow? Don't daydream, this method of drinking to quench your thirst can't deal with me. Beerus seemed to see some clues of the Realm King Fist, so he said coldly. This ability is estimated to be like a stimulant. It can stimulate people's potential for a short time, but it has to pay a more heavy price. Just try it and you'll know. Chin Feng's voice fell, and his body had disappeared. The speed is very fast, and it is not at all comparable to the previous Super 4 Red Gods. That's how much faster. Beerus was shocked. Because Chin Feng's speed actually surpassed himself at that moment just now. Now it was too late to dodge, so he could only grit his teeth and slam into Chin Feng with a punch. Airplanes. The moment the fists of the two collided, a dull humming sound suddenly appeared in the entire space. Click. Then, the grass-green energy barrier condensed by Weiss suddenly made a crisp sound, and then cracks began to appear. Wow. The battle was much more intense than I expected. Quote. Biss said with some surprise. Originally, he thought that the energy barrier he had condensed was enough to withstand the shock wave generated by the battle between the two people. 
but looking at it now, the battle between the two of them is much more fierce than they imagined. The energy barrier is about to shatter. Hey. Then Bis waved his staff again. The crack on the energy barrier vanished. And again it was strengthened. At this time, in the barrier, Chin Feng and Beerus's fists were pressed together for a second. Beerus's body suddenly flew upside down, slamming into the energy barrier. Then he fell back to the ground. No. No way, that strength is even better than mine. Quote. Beerus shook his head in disbelief. I had obviously gone all out just now, why did I not take any advantage of the confrontation of power? Beerus, enjoy this, I gave you a gift in return. Chin Feng's voice fell, and then his palms suddenly flattened. Then the dark red aura around him turned into hundreds of sharp thorns as sharp as ice picks. Then a purple layer of destructive energy was wrapped around the energy thorn. This prevents destruction by Beerus' destructive energy. Go. Then Chin Feng's hands waved lightly, and the hundreds of sharp thorns shot towards Beerus like 10,000 arrows. There are so many sharp thorns that you can't dodge them all. And even if Beerus used destructive energy, he could only destroy part of the thorns. After all, every sharp thorn is wrapped in destructive energy, and it is not so easy to destroy. Cut, I didn't expect that I would be forced to such a point by a human being to destroy the gods. But I can't help it, I can only do this. Beerus looked at the hundreds of sharp thorns flying towards him with a calm face, and said to himself lightly. Then, he said, comfortable. Extreme will. Quote. As the voice fell, Beerus's body was as sharp as a ghost, as if it would shift shape. Easily dodged all the sharp attacks. This Chin Feng's strength is really extraordinary, and he actually forced Lord Beerus to use his own ease. Weiss, who is on the cruise ship, looked at Beerus, who was performing his free and extreme skills, and said in surprise. Although he knew for a long time that Chin Feng's strength was relatively strong, he had defeated the destruction god of the sixth universe, and at the same time, he had also mastered the destruction energy, the exclusive skill of the god of destruction. But he never thought he could defeat Lord Beerus. However, as things stand, this is a good possibility. Swish. After Beerus easily dodged Chin Feng's energy thorn attack, he suddenly appeared behind Chin Feng. It's very, very fast. Especially after exerting his freedom extreme intense skill, Beerus's speed reached a terrifying level. Get down for me. Beerus said coldly, and then swept out directly at Chin Feng's head. Apparently he didn't keep his hand. At this moment, he is also very aware that the strength of this guy in front of him is very, very strong, if he doesn't defeat him completely. There is a good chance that I will capsize in the gutter. At that time, not only will he not be ashamed of Shangpa's capital, but he may also be ridiculed by him in turn. There are also Ketra and Waimai, who like to be against themselves, and they will definitely stand up one by one. This kind of thing is absolutely not allowed to happen. Swish. Beerus is fast. In the eyes of Sun Wukong, Vegeta and the others, Chin Feng did not react to Beerus's attack at all. So I didn't make any evasive or resisting gestures. It's just that in the next second, Beerus's foot directly penetrated Chin Feng's head diagonally. After image. Beerus's face changed and he said in shock. After exerting his freedom extreme intention skill just now, his speed has definitely reached a very terrifying level. It is no exaggeration to say that it must have surpassed Chin Feng's speed. I didn't expect this guy to hide. How the hell did this do that? Beerus clenched his fists tightly. Then he looked to the front right, because Chin Feng's body had already appeared a few feet away from him. Is this Beerus who has performed the power of freedom and intent at ease? The speed is indeed very amazing, if it weren't for the mastery of the flash time, I might not be able to dodge the attack just now. Chin Feng thought secretly in his heart. However, after mastering the 0.2 second flash time, he was able to easily dodge Beerus's attack. I don't believe you'll be able to hide forever. Beerus' face was furious, and his eyes narrowed into slits. Then the body flashed again and disappeared. In the blink of an eye, he appeared in front of Chin Feng and punched Chin Feng. It seems that the attack speed is not fast, but it is fleeting in the blink of an eye. Swish. Again, Beerus's fist pierced Chin Feng's chest. It is undeniable that Beerus's speed is indeed faster than Chin Feng's now, but it is not particularly much. 
So in 0.2 seconds, Qin Feng was enough to dodge Beerus's attack. Again. Hit the air again. Quote. Beerus's face grew gloomy. Because he felt like he was being teased by this human. This feeling drove him crazy. It seems that Qin Feng has mastered some kind of ability to jump time. Wei Si looked at Qin Feng with a serious face and muttered to himself. Sister Bardos didn't tell herself about this. She just told herself that Master Shangpa had been defeated by Qin Feng, and that Qin Feng had also mastered the destructive energy. I didn't find this guy, and I was able to control the time. However, judging from the fact that he had just dodged Lord Beerus's attack, the limit of his jump time should be 0.2 seconds. However, this 0.2 second time jump happened to be difficult for Lord Beerus to reach, so Lord Beerus's attack couldn't hit Qin Feng. In this way, in this battle, Qin Feng was almost invincible. Because he hasn't had any problems with his fitness so far. At this time, in the barrier, Beerus continued to attack Qin Feng. However, he didn't touch Qin Feng's body at all, which made Beerus quite crazy. I didn't expect a little bug like Saiyan to play like a monkey. Minutes and seconds passed. The two have been fighting for a full hour from the beginning to now. But the physical energy did not appear to be too much consumption. Beerus, in particular, is still at his peak in physical strength despite the imperfect freedom of extreme will. This made Qin Feng quite surprised. You must know that in the, Dragon Ball Super, Power Conference, after Sun Wukong performed his imperfect freedom and extreme intention, his physical energy was quickly consumed. Ding. Congratulations to the host for completing the one-hour task of fighting Beerus, the god of destruction, and the system reward exchange value, 500,000. The total combat power of the current host, 900,000. At this moment, the voice of the system suddenly sounded in my head. As the mission accomplished, hearing the sound of the system, Qin Feng thought in his heart. Although the exchange value of 900,000 is a lot, it is still not enough. It takes 1 million exchange value to exchange the transmission bloodline. And if you exchange it for perfect freedom extreme intention, you need 1.2 million exchange value. So I can't redeem it now. System, now that I defeat Beerus, is there still a system reward? Qin Feng said silently in his mind. Because the previous system has an additional task, that is, defeating Beerus, you will get a reward of 1 million exchange value. Yes, the host, if the host defeats Beerus, the god of destruction, it will continue to reward the host with the remaining 500,000 exchange value. After Qin Feng finished asking, the electronic synthesis of the system sounded. Is that so? Qin Feng pursed his lips, if there was still 500,000 exchange value, then he would be able to exchange it whether it was a super bloodline or a perfect free and extreme intention. Boom. Just when Qin Feng was distracted, Beerus's fist suddenly slammed into Qin Feng's face, directly smashing Qin Feng out. Cut. You dare to be distracted when you fight with me, it's too arrogant. Beerus was not happy about hitting Qin Feng. Instead, they became more and more angry. Because in his opinion, Qin Feng's approach was simply looking down on himself. All right. In that case, let's be my subordinate. Quote. Qin Feng rubbed his face, and then a strong desire to fight appeared in his eyes. In order to pass on the super bloodline in the freedom extreme will, he must defeat Beerus today. Then Qin Feng performed the flash time skill, and the chi disappeared in an instant. What's going on? That guy's anger is completely gone. Quote. After not feeling Qin Feng's anger, Beerus's face changed again. You must know that you can't feel the opponent's chi in position in battle, which is a very disadvantaged thing. Sun Wukong and Vegeta were also very shocked. Because at this moment, they couldn't feel Qin Feng's anger at all. It seemed that Qin Feng was even more mysterious and stronger than they imagined. Swish. Suddenly, a fist slammed directly into Beerus' chest. Beerus hadn't reacted yet, but his body reacted and subconsciously retreated. Qin Feng's fist was only attached to Beerus's chest, and it did not cause harm to him. Shout. Qin Feng's body suddenly disappeared again, obviously also performing a flash of time. Because his chi was completely gone in that instant. Beerus frowned, staring warily. This fool, I don't know what crooked and evil abilities he used, he actually made it impossible for him to perceive his chi at all. 
It's like a loach in the water, and you can't catch him if you can't slip through it. Swish. At this moment, Qin Feng's attack appeared again. However, after performing the Freedom Extreme Intention skill, Beerus was able to barely avoid Qin Feng's Flash Time skill. Although the Flash Time power can keep up with the speed of Beerus's Free and Extreme Intention power, it will never be able to cause damage to Beerus if it continues like this. If I want to beat him like this, it's obviously a little unlikely. The two attacks didn't work, Qin Feng thought secretly in his heart. His goal was to defeat Beerus, not to spend it on him. It seems that if you want to really divide the winner from the loser, you can't use the flash time skill, and Beerus can't use the extreme mind skill either. In this way, the winner can be distinguished. The blow missed, and Qin Feng and Beerus opened up a distance. Beerus, there's no point in fighting like this, we can't tell the winner at all. Qin Feng looked at Beerus and spoke. This problem, it is estimated that Beerus himself is aware of it. Cut, I don't want to admit it, but you guy is really pestering. Beerus frowned, looked at Qin Feng coldly and said. Why don't I use the flash time skill, and you don't use the freedom extreme skill skill, let's have a happy fight. Qin Feng smiled faintly and suggested. First, in order to complete the tasks of the system. Second, I really want to fight Beerus well. Instead of peak a boo as it is now. It's just a waste of time to play like this. I even know that you are really surprised. Hearing that Qin Feng actually knew that he had performed the Freedom Extreme skill, Beerus said with some surprise. You must know that the Freedom Extreme Intention Gong is only known to the gods above the God of Destruction. It's like this human knows everything. It made him very curious. All right. I promised. Quote. Beerus nodded. This time, he came to his dream rival to fight him well. After all, I haven't fought happily for so many years. Then be careful, Beerus. Qin Feng grinned, and then his body suddenly flashed out. After not using the flash time skill, Qin Feng's speed was also very fast. But fortunately, his breath can already be felt. Beerus no longer had to grope in the dark as before. It's you who should be careful. Beerus also smiled with the corners of his mouth raised. At the same time, the body burst out. Rumble. The fists of the two collided in an instant. At that moment, the earth began to tremble violently again, and everyone could clearly see the ripples of energy generated in the barrier. It's very terrifying, if it is affected by those energy ripples, it is estimated that it will disappear on the spot. After a punch collision, the bodies of the two people each retreated dozens of feet. There was an expression of excitement on his face. This kind of hard-fought battle can make people feel extremely stimulated, and the blood in the body is boiling. Come on, come again. Qin Feng roared and rushed towards Beerus again. Although Beerus was not as excited as Qin Feng, he was also very excited in his heart. I haven't experienced such a close battle for a long time. Then Beerus also rushed towards Qin Feng. Bang bang bang. The muffled sound of collision kept ringing. At this time, Qin Feng and Beerus barely used any energy attacks, and they were purely fighting with their hard-hitting bodies. It was like an irregular fighting match, and the two men were once again fist to fist, elbow to elbow, engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Time kept passing, and another half an hour passed. Phew. Qin Feng and Beerus clasped their hands on their knees, panting heavily. Drops of sweat broke out on his forehead. Although both of them are very physically energetic, this kind of all-out hand-to-hand combat also consumes a lot of their physical energy. Especially the two of them had injuries of varying degrees on their bodies, Beerus had a blue nose and swollen face, and Qin Feng also had several wounds on his face, leaving blood marks. Humph. It's embarrassing to look at you. Quote. With this little power, you still want to beat me, it's a fool's dream. Beerus raised his head, looked at Qin Feng, who was covered in scars, and said with a sneer. Although his physical energy is greatly consumed, his desire to fight has not diminished at all. Cut, don't be reckless, I really want to give you a mirror so that you can see how embarrassed you are. Qin Feng looked at Beerus, who had a blue nose and swollen face, and his eyes were swollen like a ball, and said with the same smile. Now both of them have reached a state of extreme physical fitness. In the end, who can win the final game depends on who has the stronger perseverance and who can fight to the end. Now I'm going to beat you completely. Beerus gritted his teeth, and then rushed towards Qin Feng again. 
but apparently the speed is more than a star and a half slower than before. Rather, it plummets. Coincidentally, that's what I thought. Chin Feng gritted his teeth, and then flashed out. But at this time, he could feel the muscles in every part of his body. He is still able to fight, and it is entirely by willpower. The two of them are at the limit of their physical fitness. If it continues like this, it is estimated that both sides will lose. Sun Wukong looked at the battle at this time and spoke. Now the speed of the two of them, I can see it clearly. It's estimated that the winner will be determined soon, and I'm really looking forward to it. Weiss also watched the battle between the two seriously at this time. It's not known who will emerge victorious in the end. It's been a long time since I've looked forward to something like this. Chin Feng and Beerus fought hand to hand for nearly 10 minutes. Chin Feng's physical energy consumption was too great, and he could only maintain the form of the Super Saiyan God, not the form of the Super Four Red Gods. Beerus's energy is also not 1 in 10. This time, I'm going to get rid of you once and for all, Beerus. Chin Feng clenched his teeth tightly, and the green tendons all over his body were rioting. Solve me, don't be ashamed, I think you've become the end of the crossbow. Your strength is simply not enough to defeat me. Beerus is also gritting his teeth and insisting, and now both of them are trying their best to hold on, and whoever falls first will lose. I'm so sorry, I think I have enough strength left now to defeat you. Chin Feng suddenly smiled hideously. Looking at Chin Feng's smile, a feeling of uneasiness suddenly rose in Bilu's heart. Could it be? Does that guy still have reservations? Quote. No way, if he still has the strength, he won't fight with himself to this extent. Don't say it's Beerus, everyone doesn't believe Chin Feng Gang's words. Because Chin Feng's strength had weakened so much. If he really had any reservations, he wouldn't let the battle stalemate at this point. But Chin Feng doesn't seem to be the kind of person who has no purpose. Although they didn't believe it, they were all very much looking forward to what the whole cards in Chin Feng's mouth were. Under everyone's gaze, Chin Feng's right fist was clenched, and he retreated backwards and began to accumulate strength. I'll show you my best move. The corners of Chin Feng's mouth suddenly raised, and then his body jumped up, and the ground exploded instantly. Rushed straight to Beerus. This kind of speed and strength can be regarded as the strongest killing move, which is really lapping to death. Looking at Chin Feng's, strongest killing move, that was tantamount to an ordinary attack, Beerus smiled. How can such an attack defeat itself? Is that so? Don't define it too early. Quote. Dragon Fist. Chin Feng suddenly roared, and then a golden dragon appeared directly from the sky. The sky was illuminated golden in that instant. Roar. The dragon roared suddenly, and then tied Beerus like a rope. What's going on? How could this kind of thing trap me? Quote. Beerus was shocked, this kind of thing should be able to break free easily. But now the energy has been depleted, so there is no way to break free from the dragon's shackles. Ha! Chin Feng roared angrily, and his fist slammed directly into Beerus's chest. Wow! A mouthful of purple blood mixed with acid water spurted out of his mouth. Beerus's pupils constricted, and then he fainted. At this moment, the golden dragon disappeared, and Beerus's body fell to the ground. Solution. Is it solved? Quote. Chin Feng smiled reluctantly, and then his hair turned black directly, and then he also fell to the ground. Ding. Congratulations to the host for completing the additional task and defeating Beerus, the god of destruction, with a reward exchange value, 500,000. The current total exchange value, 1.4 million. After Chin Feng's body fell, an electronic synthesis sound sounded in his head. Finally. It's really hard to defeat Beerus. Quote. The corners of Chin Feng's mouth hooked up with a smile of relief. Chin Feng actually knows how to use the dragon fist, what the hell is going on? Sun Wukong was very shocked. He had cast the tenfold realm king fist just now, and now he had cast the dragon fist. Why does he use both of his stunts? It's also a saying, that guy is really jealous. Vegeta crossed her arms and said with an envious expression. The battle just now far exceeded their understanding. Mr. Chin Feng, are you okay? Dandy hurriedly ran to Chin Feng with an excited face, and then put his hands on Chin Feng's chest to heal him. The grass green healing energy entered Chin Feng's body, and the injuries on his body quickly healed. Thanks, Dandy. 
Chin Feng smiled at Dandy and said. Then he looked at Beerus. At this time, Weiss walked in front of Beerus and began to heal Beerus's wounds. With a gentle wave of the staff in his hand, healing energy entered Beerus's body, and soon Beerus opened his eyes. But his face was very ugly. He still didn't believe he had been defeated by a Saiyan. And that actually had the last hole card just now. If he had used the trick just now at his peak, his body would have been directly penetrated. There is no way to resist with energy at all, it is a penetrating attack. Chin Feng walked towards Beerus step by step, with a faint smile on the corner of his mouth. When he walked up to Beerus, he said, you lost, Beerus. Quote. Cut. It's very unpleasant, but I did lose. Beerus didn't mean to lose, but reluctantly admitted. After speaking, he clenched his fists tightly. I still can't accept this matter. And I was very unconvinced that I lost. But don't be complacent, next time, I will definitely defeat you. Beerus glared at Chin Feng and said. Although I lost this battle, I definitely have to fight him. Defeat him and get your face back. Really. Then I can only regret to tell you that you will never be able to defeat me. Because from today onwards, the gap between us is getting bigger and bigger. Chin Feng said with a faint smile. I have a system in my body, and now I have an exchange value of 140. It's very easy to completely surpass Beerus, the god of destruction. I'm less proud, I just haven't cultivated for tens of thousands of years. As long as I cultivate well, I can completely defeat you in a few days. Beerus said through gritted teeth. After you go back, you must practice well. If this matter is known to other destruction gods, it is quite a shameful thing. Since you're so confident, I'll give you another piece of good news. I didn't use all my strength when I fought you just now. Chin Feng said to Beerus with a cold smile. Phew. What the? Quote. Beerus was startled, and then coldly mocked, you think I will still believe you, don't deceive yourself. Quote. Really? Then I'll show you all my strength. Chin Feng looked at Beerus and smiled slyly. Then he silently recited in his mind, system, help exchange the freedom extreme intention gong. Quote. In the transmission of the super bloodline in the freedom extreme intention gong, Chin Feng chose the freedom extreme intention skill. The reason is very simple, he is now pretending to be forced in front of Beerus and pretending to be fierce. Are the hosts sure to spend 1,200,000 exchange values for perfect freedom extreme will? The sound of system confirmation sounded. After all, the exchange value of 1.2 million is not a small number. Sure. Chin Feng didn't hesitate and acquiesced directly. Just now, I have already made a decision. Good host. Ding. Congratulations to the host, the perfect and comfortable Ji Gong has been successfully exchanged. Quote. The sound of the system sounded again. It doesn't seem to have changed. Chin Feng clenched his fists, his strength did not increase, but there was a freedom extreme intention gong in the system template. What's wrong? Didn't you want to show me your hidden strength? Quote. Cut. Are you embarrassed to speak? Looking at Chin Feng in a daze, Beerus said with a sneer. He felt that Chin Feng must be bragging, if he really had the strength, he wouldn't use it when he was beaten up like that just now. Weiss also looked at Chin Feng with a curious expression. Because he didn't believe that Chin Feng still had hidden strength. Okay. Originally, I wanted to keep a low profile, but since you want to see my hidden strength, I'll let you see it. Hold your chin in a moment. Chin Feng came back to his senses, looked at Beerus with a sneer, and said. The voice fell, and his fists clenched tightly. Silver-white aura burst out from his body in an instant. Then Chin Feng's pupils turned silver-gray, and his whole body was glowing with silver, and the silver lines kept moving upward. At that moment, Chin Feng's qi became extremely calm, and the temperature around him rose sharply at this moment. Phew. What the? What's going on with Kakarot? Quote. Vegeta looked at Chin Feng who was shining all over his body, and asked Sun Wukong in shock. I don't know, I've never seen Chin Feng turn into this form. Sun Wukong also shook his head in surprise. Could it be that this is also a metamorphosis of Super Saiyan? But he had never seen Chin Feng perform it before, and more importantly, his chi had not improved in any way after he transformed. It's very calm. You must know that after all Saiyans transform, the super race energy is very irritable. 
It will even affect people's hearts, but Qin Feng's qi at this time is very quiet. Although the qi has not improved, listening to the conversation between that guy and Beerus just now, this transformation is more powerful than all the previous transformations. Vegeta clenched her fists. The envy, jealousy and hatred in my heart. Why are they all Saiyans, and they are the princes of Saiyans, but they are so far left by this guy? Especially since their bloodlines are almost the same, and they haven't mutated or anything. Bess, did that guy get to that point? Looking at Qin Feng's form at this time, Beerus was startled at first. Then his eyes narrowed slightly, and he looked at Bis and asked in a low tone. A human being, not only mastered the energy of destruction, is able to jump time. Now even this kind of realm that the gods can't reach has been reached. This really shocked me, and even made me very jealous. It seems to be similar to that of Lord Beerus, although it can be regarded as comprehending the freedom extreme intention, but it is not in a perfect state. Weiss looked at Qin Feng very seriously and said. You must know that among the twelve gods of destruction in the universe, only Beerus has mastered the imperfect freedom extreme intention. Among the human beings, the Saiyan who was a long time ago had mastered the power of freedom and extreme will. The other universes themselves have not heard of any human being who can comprehend the extreme mind of freedom. Hearing Weiss's words, Beerus raised his head and looked at Qin Feng and said, I am really surprised that you can comprehend the freedom extreme intention skill. Quote. Even the gods can't fully grasp the freedom extreme intention skill, you have actually comprehended it, although it is not in a perfect state. But it does impress me. But you said that this is your hidden strength, I don't agree with it, even if you have mastered the imperfect freedom extreme intention, then you can't beat me. Because he has also mastered the imperfect freedom extreme intention. At that time, even if it is a collision between the free and extreme intentions, it will be only 5 or 5 at most. Who told you that my freedom extreme mind is not in a state of imperfection? Hearing Beerus's words, the corners of Qin Feng's mouth suddenly raised, revealing an evil arc. Pretending to be this kind of thing, sometimes it's really cool. Especially looking at Beerus's shocked expression, he was quite useful. Phew. What do you mean? Quote. Beerus was taken aback again. Listening to his tone, could it be said that he had mastered the perfection and freedom extreme intention skill? No way. He didn't expect to completely grasp the freedom extreme, and he still had Weiss's teachings, Qin Feng definitely couldn't do it. Absolutely impossible. Isn't that obvious enough? Qin Feng smiled shallowly, and then clenched his fists again. The surrounding Ten Zhong instantly turned into a silver-white brilliance. A white pillar of light rose into the sky. Qin Feng, Beerus, and Weiss were wrapped in white light like their bodies. What a scorching energy. Sun Wukong, Vegeta and the others hurriedly retreated several feet. As time passed, the silvery white light faded little by little. The figures of Qin Feng and Beerus appeared in everyone's sight. At this time, Qin Feng's hair had completely turned silver, and his whole body was wrapped in silver-purple aura. Bess. Beerus's eyes were extremely heavy, and he called out to Vaze. Yes, Lord Beerus. Vaze seemed to know what Beerus wanted to ask, and nodded directly. Qin Feng has indeed reached the state of perfection and ease now. This is the form of human beings after they have attained the power of self-indulgence. It's different from the angel form, but the ability is the same. The only difference is that the angels are able to maintain a perfect and free form of extreme intention at all times and at all times. That's what it looks like now. And when Qin Feng performed the perfect freedom extreme intention skill, he needed a lot of energy to support it. Perfect. Freedom and extreme will. Quote. Beerus clenched his fists tightly, and a complicated look appeared in his eyes. There is shock, envy, and unhappiness. A human being has mastered the perfect freedom extreme skill, and he is indeed unhappy and envious. But I have to say that Qin Feng, a Saiyan, impressed himself. Woohoo! It was a surprise today. Quote. But the harvest is okay. When Beerus doesn't become a god of destruction one day, I can recommend Mr. Qin Feng, ho ho ho. Weiss looked like he was falling into a well, and he covered his mouth and laughed. It seems that even the next god of destruction has been chosen. Cut, that's a nuisance. Beerus glared at Vs, this guy didn't speak and no one treated him as dumb. I'm not retired yet. I'm thinking about the next god of destruction. 
Looking at Beerus's look of surprise, envy and displeasure, Qin Feng's vanity was still very satisfied. Phew. Then he exhaled and withdrew from the state of freedom and extreme intention. Even the perfect freedom extreme intention gong still has a high demand for energy, and in just a few minutes, I feel that my energy is starting to weaken. It seems that a way to get rid of this disadvantage must be found. Maybe the angels have a way. But it's clear that something is wrong today. Anyway, there will be a lot of days of contact with angels in the future. And there will be more and more, so there is no rush in this matter for now. How about Beerus, I didn't lie to you just now, did I? Qin Feng looked at Beerus with a smile and asked. Beerus, on the other hand, was angry and pig liver colored. It is undeniable that you are very strong, and you have even mastered the freedom extreme intention, and I am impressed with you. But I'm not that easy to throw in the towel, and one day I'll challenge you again. Beerus pursed his lips, keeping his pride in destroying the gods. If you lose the battle, it will be embarrassing enough, and if you lose the momentum again, then the shame will be thrown home. If you have masochistic tendencies, you are always welcome to challenge me. Qin Feng shrugged his shoulders indifferently. Beerus wants to win himself, and the possibility is very slim. Cut, it's a guy who hates more than Bess. Beerus glared at Qin Feng. Although this guy has made himself a god of destruction and lose face, he doesn't have that kind of murderous intent towards him, but has some feelings of sympathy between opponents. This feeling should not be there. It seems that he has not fought so happily in a long time. Baze, let's go. Beerus didn't want to say more, so he could only look at Bis and said coldly. The next time you come to Earth, be sure to save face. Lord Beerus, the food of the Earth is very delicious. I'll pack some for you. In fact, Weiss is just greedy for himself. The food of the earth is really irresistible. Especially the food called pudding and sushi, the taste. Tut tut. It's drooling just thinking about it. Humph. You has a bit of a conscience. Quote. Beerus was very moved. Unexpectedly, Weiss was still thinking about himself. Half an hour later, Bis packed several large boxes of food and put them in his staff's face. Before leaving, he suddenly turned his head to look at Qin Feng and said with a smile, Is Mr. Qin Feng interested in being a god of destruction or a candidate god of destruction? Quote. With Qin Feng's strength, he was completely qualified for the position of god of destruction. Hey Bess, I'm still here. You're not right for that, aren't you? Quote. Beerus bared his teeth and said loudly. Looking at Beerus's frantic expression, Qin Feng said with a faint smile. I'm really sorry, I'm not interested in the position of the god of destruction at all. Quote. This is the truth, I never wanted to become a god of destruction. Especially his current strength surpasses that of the god of destruction, so the god of destruction is even less attractive to himself. Moreover, although the god of destruction is a cosmic god of destruction, he has always worked for the whole king and the great priests. Even if it's free, it doesn't feel good. Hearing Qin Feng's answer, Beerus breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, this guy has no intention of competing with himself for the position of the god of destruction. Wow. That's a shame. Quote. Then come and destroy the god realm when you have time. I think with your ability, you should be able to destroy the god realm. Weiss first expressed some pity, and then invited. Okay, I'll go play when I have time. Qin Feng nodded, and did not directly refuse. After all, I may need to ask Bis some questions in the future. Remember to bring more food when you come. Bess said with a sly smile. Okay. Qin Feng also nodded. Bez then left Earth with Beerus. Call. After Beerus left, everyone breathed a long sigh of relief, and the joy of the rest of their lives appeared on their faces. It was indeed very dangerous just now. If Qin Feng was defeated, I don't know if Beerus, the god of destruction, would really destroy the Earth. But now it's okay, Beerus is gone, and the earth is safe. And the happiest are the old world king god and the Jabot god. Because the two of them know better than anyone else on earth about the fear of destroying god. If he wants to destroy a planet, it only takes a split second. This time, the earth and other planets of the northern galaxy were preserved, and it really all depended on Qin Feng's strength. If he hadn't defeated Beerus, the god of destruction, I don't know what the consequences would have been. This time, thank you very much, Qin Feng.
The old world king god wiped the sweat on his forehead in the realm king god realm, looked at Chin Feng in the crystal ball, and said sincerely. Mr. Chin Feng, are you really too powerful? At this time, Dandy hurriedly ran in front of Chin Feng and said to Chin Feng very excitedly. He had always believed that Mr. Chin Feng would definitely be able to defeat Beerus, the god of destruction. And Mr. Chin Feng did not disappoint himself. Thank you for always trusting me so much, Dandy. You really are my best friend. By the way, and Mr. Bobo. Chin Feng patted Dandy's shoulder and said with a smile. That kind of smile, very sincere. Hey, hey. Hearing this, Dandy scratched his head a little embarrassed. Wow, Chin Feng, you guy is too strong. There is so much strength hidden. And it's amazing that you can use the Realm King Fist and the Dragon Fist. At this time, Sun Wukong also walked in front of Chin Feng with a smile. By the way, the transformation of your last one we have never seen before, is it also a Saiyan transformation? Vegeta is also very, very interested in this question. It's not a Saiyan transformation, but it seems to have been created by the ancestor of the Saiyans. Chin Feng replied simply. In fact, I don't know if it's true. Because in my previous life, I watched a video of Sun Wukong versus Yamo Si, the ancestor of the Saiyans. And Yama Si was also able to transform into the form of perfect Freedom Extreme Intention Gong, and claimed that Freedom Extreme Intention Gong was created by him. As for whether there is Yama the in this world and how credible it is, I don't know. After all, there are so many Saiyans, and in the end, only Sun Wukong triggered the Freedom Extreme Intention Gong when he was on the line of life and death in the Power Conference. Now it seems that the self-righteousness has become a divine skill of gods and angels. The ancestor of the Saiyans. How I didn't know about this. Quote. Vegeta stepped forward and looked at Chin Feng with some confusion and asked. Although his strength is not as good as Chin Feng, he is also a pure Saiyan prince. He has the blood of the Saiyan royal family in his body, and his father is King Vegeta. I've never heard anything about the Saiyan ancestors, and I've never heard of this transformation. There's so much you don't know. Did you know the Super Saiyan God before? Do you know Super Saiyan 4? Chin Feng looked at Vegeta and asked rhetorically. In fact, the Saiyans of planet Vegeta have gone through countless generations a long time ago, so it is estimated that the matter about the ancestor of the Saiyans has long been lost. Being asked by Chin Feng like this, Vegeta lowered her head a little embarrassed and a little angry. It is true that he didn't know the so-called Super Saiyan God before he met Chin Feng. And the Super Saiyan 4 he said is also completely unclear to himself. That's amazing, can you teach me to take this form? Sun Wukong clenched his fists and asked excitedly. If you can turn into this form, it will definitely be very powerful. Teach you. Why? Quote. Chin Feng looked at Sun Wukong, and suddenly said in a somewhat cold tone. Although I also know that the Monkey King in, Dragon Ball Super, is this kind of arrogant character. But this kind of character I don't like myself. Why should I teach him? Let's go, Dandy. Chin Feng directly took Dandy and Bobo and left the cruise ship. Kakarot, you idiot. Vegeta glared at Monkey King. This guy is too direct to speak. They weren't that familiar with Chin Feng in the first place, why should they teach you? If he was Chin Feng, he wouldn't have taught Kakarot this stupid person. Huh. Am I saying something wrong? Quote. Sun Wukong looked confused, he just asked Chin Feng to teach him to be at ease. That's right. It's right, it's too straightforward. Father. Quote. We are not too familiar with Mr. Chin Feng, so you were a little too casual just now. Sun Gohan looked at Sun Wukong and explained. But thinking about dad has always been this kind of character. He doesn't think too much about things. Is that so? Ah in that case, I'll talk to him later, right? Quote. Sun Wukong was very optimistic, smiled and continued. This time I went to speak politely, it should be no problem, right? Bulma's birthday party was in no mood to continue because of Beerus's appearance. Everyone left early. Monkey King, Vegeta, and Vic and others passed by Beerus, letting them know that their strength was still weak. This strength is simply not enough to protect the planet. Therefore, we must cultivate more desperately. At this time, in space, Beerus sat behind Weiss, enjoying the food of the earth. I quickly finished eating five food boxes. Baze, bring me another one. 
Beerus said meaninglessly. I've lived so long, and I've never eaten such a delicious meal. I didn't expect the Earth of the North Galaxy to be a food kingdom. If he used to be in the North Galaxy, he also destroyed the planet of the King of the Northern Realm to a palm-sized point. I didn't expect that I didn't go to Earth that time, and now I really regret it. If you go early, you'll be able to enjoy the delicious food of the Earth sooner. And there's more to the planet than meets the eye. I'm so sorry, Lord Beerus, you've eaten it all. Biss smiled back and said to Beerus. Cut. Don't lie to me, I can see you fill ten food boxes with delicacies. Beerus raised his head and stared at Biss as he said. This guy is too unkind. Ho ho ho. Lord Beerus, you've eaten your part. Quote. Don't even think about the remaining five boxes. Bees turned his head and smiled, turning to Beerus. He's fair, five boxes each. And the portions are exactly the same, and Lord Beerus has just gobbled up his portion, so he won't share it with him. No, you'll have to give me two more boxes. Beerus said to Bess, a scoundrel. Earth's cuisine is so delicious that the food that makes its presence in the palace completely unappealing. I think Lord Beerus, you want to sleep a few more days. Bis said lightly. Ah. Beerus was stunned, then glanced at Bees with hatred. This guy really can't be messed with. I can't beat it. Although to outsiders he saw Bess as his servant, he was the only one who knew Bess's identity. He is an angel and his own master. The strength far surpasses himself. It's no exaggeration to say that it only takes one move to stun himself. I've been knocked unconscious by him before, so when no one is around, I'm still quite jealous of Weiss. Has strength, and has a cowhide father, no way. By the way, Weiss, did you want to make Chin Feng a candidate for God of Destruction? Beerus could only change the subject. Speaking of which, my impression of Chin Feng is still good. It's a rare opponent. I do have that idea, what do you mean, Lord Beerus? Weiss asked rhetorically. I do have this idea, after all, several universes have candidate god of destruction, and the seventh universe can also choose a candidate god of destruction. In this way, Mel's can also understand and adapt to the life and responsibilities of the angels in advance. It's up to you, I'm going to have a good fight with that guy anyway. Beerus clenched his fists, his eyes bursting with a strong desire to fight. As soon as I think of that guy, I want to fight again. It's been a long time since this kind of blood-pumping opponent has appeared. As for the candidate god of destruction, in the end, it was Weiss who trained him, so he didn't need to care about it at all. It seems that Lord Beerus agreed, in that case, then I will go to the earth to communicate with Chin Feng when I have time. Weiss said in a calm tone. Cut, I think you just want to go to earth and enjoy food. Beerus pursed his lips and muttered quietly. Ho ho ho, it's easy to enjoy the food. Bess covered his mouth again and smiled like a sissy. Cut, don't think I don't know what you're thinking. I don't care if you want to go to earth to find food, but you must train me for a month before that. The next time we meet, I don't want to lose to that guy again. Beerus clenched his fists tightly and said to Bess. In the past tens of thousands of years, because he hadn't met a real opponent at all, he didn't cultivate. But now, Chin Feng's appearance was the driving force for his cultivation. I'm going to beat that guy. Ah, uh, all right. Quote. Bess could only nod. After all, his duty is to supervise and cultivate the god of destruction. There are some things that I can't refuse. Then the two disappeared into the universe. Time passed day by day, and half a month passed quickly. In the past half a month, Sun Wukong and Vegeta have also looked for Chin Feng one after another. The purpose is obvious, that is, they are very interested in the freedom extreme intention skill, so I hope Chin Feng can teach them. But Chin Feng was also cultivating hard, so he didn't have time to guide them. The opponents you encounter in the future will become stronger and stronger, so you must also improve your strength. In this way, you will be able to deal with the opponents you will meet in the future, and you will be able to protect yourself. Creek. Just when Chin Feng was cultivating in the spirit time house, suddenly the door of the spirit time house was opened. Dandy walked over to the small house. Mr. Chin Feng, there is a woman outside who said she was looking for you. Dandy said to Chin Feng. Women. And women looking for me. What a miracle. Quote. Do you know who it is? Dandy. Quote. Chin Feng was stunned, he still couldn't figure out which woman was looking for him. 
You must know that those women on the earth, Android 18, Bulma and others have already married into wives. They can't come to find themselves, and even if they do, they are not interested in them. I don't know either. Dandy shook his head, then thought for a moment and continued, but that woman's dress is very similar to that of Bay's next to Beerus, the god of destruction. Quote. And she's holding a staff that resembles that of Bess. Is it Bardos? Hearing Dandy's description, Chin Feng instantly knew the identity of the person who came. Half a year ago, when I was in the sixth universe, I once said that I would let Bardos come to the earth to play, and I would take her to taste the food of the earth. I didn't expect her to really come. Is she the only one? Chin Feng looked at Dandy and asked. You must know that angels and gods of destruction are generally not separated, and many times they act together. After all, they also have a duty to protect and destroy the safety of the gods. Yes, she's alone. Dandy nodded affirmatively. All right. Then let's go out and have a look. Quote. Then Chin Feng and Dandy walked out of the spirit time house. Then I saw Bardos. As usual, dressed in an unlikable angelic uniform, with a staff in his hand and a faint smile on his face. Long time no see. Mr. Chin Feng. Quote. Bardos greeted Chin Feng with a smile. Ah, I really haven't seen you for half a year, but I didn't expect you to really come to me. Chin Feng also smiled, and then said with some surprise. After all, Chin Feng just mentioned it casually at that time, and he didn't think that Bardos would really come to the seventh universe. And she didn't even bring the elephant with her. What? Isn't I welcome to hear your tone? Quote. Bardos asked Chin Feng in a joking tone. How could it be? Of course welcome, very welcome. Quote. Chin Feng shrugged his shoulders and replied with a smile. Anyway, I still have time to go shopping with Bardos, and I can ask her about the things that are very self-conscious. That's good, I came to see you, but I offended Lord Shangpa. Bardos suddenly winked at Chin Feng and said playfully. It's not like a cold angel on a daily basis at all. More like a playful girl. For me, I don't think you're blessed, you're for the sake of the earth's food. Chin Feng naturally didn't believe that Bardos had come to the seventh universe to see him. I guess it was the food of the seventh universe that I said last time that made her interested. After all, Bardos and Weiss are similar, with the essence of a foodie. Ho ho, why do you want to say it so directly, the food is just a taste by the way. Bardos smiled awkwardly and said to Chin Feng. Cut. Chin Feng shook his head. But since you're talking about food, let's go taste it now. Bardos said with a twinkle in his eyes. Sure enough, it's still for the food. Okay. Then I'll take you to taste the food. Chin Feng could only nod, and then left the heavenly god temple with Bardos. Then I came to a sushi restaurant, which I have been to several times, and the taste is really okay. Chin Feng simply ordered two servings of sushi, and Bardos tasted one and then directly ate a tumultuous meal. Wow. I didn't expect that there would be such a delicacy in the seventh universe. Quote. I really regret knowing that I would be an angel in the seventh universe. After eating both servings of sushi, Bardos grumbled as she wiped her mouth gracefully. Compared to this kind of food called sushi, the food in the sixth universe is simply hard to swallow. Mr. Chin Feng, are there any other delicacies on earth? Bardos asked, a little embarrassed. After all, the sushi just now was so delicious, I accidentally ate it all. I'm a little embarrassed to say it, but I really haven't eaten enough. Of course, there are so many delicacies on the planet that you can't imagine. Chin Feng looked at the, hillbilly, like Bardos and said with a smile. One piece of sushi can make a dignified angel like this, if it wasn't for Chin Feng's familiarity with Dragon Ball Super, how could he have thought of it? The two then left and went to a tempura restaurant. The two ordered two servings of shrimp tempura and assorted tempura. As a result, he was completely wiped out by Bardos alone. Wow wow, the food of the earth is really delicious. It seems that I will come to earth often to eat in the future. Bardos said with a satisfied expression. Then he looked at Chin Feng and said with a smile, but you guy is so interesting. Quote. I didn't expect you to defeat not only Lord Elephanta, but also Lord Beerus, who is the strongest god of destruction. I've heard Weiss say about this a long time ago. Moreover, a human being has mastered the perfection and freedom extreme will. It's just a bit of luck. Chin Feng said modestly to Bardos. 
Cut, who believes. The god of destruction can't be defeated by luck alone. Bardos pouted and said. But this kind of thing, although I was a little surprised, but the interest is not very great. Because in this universe, there are no people who can defeat the god of destruction. What are we going to eat next? Bardos asked again. What? Haven't you eaten yet? Quote. Chin Feng looked at Bardos and asked in surprise. Two sushi platters and two assorted tempura platters are a lot of money. She ate it all by herself, and it didn't seem like she was full yet. My stomach is almost full, but my mouth is not full yet. Bardos said to Chin Feng with a smile. This is also known as craving. After all, after eating the food of the seventh universe this time, I don't know when I can come next time. Ah. Uh, oh well. It seems that it is time to show the real technology. Quote. Chin Feng thought about it and prepared to do it himself. I am a professional in cooking. Do you know how to cook? Bardos looked at Chin Feng with some disbelief and asked. Of course, I'm a professional at cooking. The corners of Chin Feng's mouth lifted proudly. After all, in his previous life, he still had a second level chef certificate at home. Eh, it can't be a dark dish, right? Bardos frowned, obviously still not believing in Chin Feng's craftsmanship. His strength is so strong, it is estimated that he is cultivating all the time, how can he have time to engage in such things as food? You'll know when the time comes. Chin Feng smiled confidently, and then walked directly to a large supermarket. Bought some necessary ingredients. Some chicken wings, seafood, and some asparagus. Then he took Bardos to the Temple of Heaven. Mr. Chin Feng, you're back so soon. Dandy looked at the two who came back, and a wicked smile was unusual. Obviously, in the end, I want to crook something. And it's a face that I know how to look at. Well, I'm going to borrow Mr. Bobo's kitchen. Chin Feng said to Dandy and Bobo. In fact, enjoying the daily ordinary life in addition to the hard cultivation is also a kind of enjoyment for him. You. Do you still cook? Quote. In the end, it was also a shock, obviously not believing. After all, they had known each other for more than a year, and they didn't know that Chin Feng still had this kind of skill. Of course, just wait and see. After finishing speaking, Chin Feng walked into the kitchen. Bardos, Dandy, and Mr. Bobo are still waiting outside in disbelief. Half an hour later, Chin Feng walked out with a few plates. All right, you're done. In just half an hour, Chin Feng walked out of a large table of dishes. It's. Are you really doing this? Quote. Looking at the large table full of delicacies, Bardos blinked and asked. No matter how it tastes, it looks very good, and every dish is decorated. It looks quite exquisite. Of course, this is the only one, and you will never find a second one. Chin Feng said proudly. It seems that his craft has not regressed. I didn't expect you to have this kind of skill, I'm getting more and more interested in you. Bardos stared at Chin Feng with burning eyes and said. Has strong strength, and cooking skills are so good, he is simply the prince charming in the eyes of women. Don't be so curious, curiosity is the beginning of a woman's fall. Looking at the fanatical, even somewhat adoring Bardos, Chin Feng said with a smile. Of course, this is just a joke. He didn't think that Bardos would fall for his culinary skills. After all, Bardos is no ordinary woman. It was an angel, an unimaginably powerful angel. You're talking about an ordinary woman. Bardos said jokingly. Hearing the two chatting, Dandy and Bobo left very interestingly. Although they don't understand this kind of relationship between men and women, they still have some eyesight. All right, tell me the names of your delicacies. Bardos is also very curious about the names of these delicacies. Lobster in butter, snails in salted water, treasure fish in scallion oil, cola chicken wings, oyster omelet, stir-fried bamboo shoots. Chin Feng pointed to the plates on the table one by one and explained. These foods are basically not found in this world but it's all their own specialty. Gollum. Bardos swallowed greedily. Each dish is bright in color and very attractive. All right, let's try it. Chin Feng made a very gentlemanly gesture of please. Bardos hurriedly sat down, and then couldn't wait to start tasting Chin Feng's craftsmanship. At this time, he is completely a foodie, and where is the coldness of a half-angel? System, exchange for a bottle of red wine. Now that the atmosphere is brought out, without a bottle of red wine, it looks a little stumbling. 
Although this table of dishes is more compatible with Lao Bagan. Wow, this one is delicious, this one is delicious. It's the first time I've eaten sweet chicken wings, but they're so delicious. Bardos was constantly savoring each dish. Chin Fung also took two bites with chopsticks from time to time, after all, he usually didn't bother to make these dishes for himself. Today can be regarded as the light of Bardos. An hour passed quickly. A large table of dishes has been swept away. Two bottles of red wine were also drunk. Bardos looked satisfied, he had lived for hundreds of millions of years, and he had never eaten so many delicacies like today. Thank you, Mr. Chin Fung. Today is definitely the most memorable day of my life. Bardos said to Chin Fung with a sincere smile. If I weren't an angel, I might be able to be so happy every day. But he is an angel and has his own duties. Thank you, isn't it just a meal? If you want to eat, just come to earth and find me at any time. Chin Fung said casually. Yes, okay. Bardos nodded, there will indeed be many opportunities in the future. Food is such an addictive thing. By the way, Bardos, can I ask you something? Chin Feng seemed to suddenly remember something, and said to Bardos. What's the matter? You say. Quote. It's about the perfect freedom extreme mind gong, why you angels can use the freedom extreme mind gong as a normal thing, and there will be no consumption. But what about the fact that I have a very large amount of power to exert my free and extreme will? That's what you're for. Are you at ease? I'll tell you about this next time we meet. Bardos didn't seem to have any intention of telling Chin Feng, and said perfunctorily. That'll do. Then wait for next time. Chin Feng nodded, and didn't say anything more, since Bardos didn't want to say it now, he couldn't force it. After all, there is still a big gap between his own strength and that of the angels. This kind of thing can only be boiled in warm water and take your time. Okay, this time I really thank Mr. Chin Feng for his hospitality. Bardos wiped his mouth elegantly and said to Chin Feng. Thank you, this is what I promised you. Chin Feng smiled. Hee hee, then I'll go back first, it's too late to go back, and Lord Shangpa won't be happy. After Bardos finished speaking, he got up and wanted to leave. After all, although your speed is very fast, it still takes some time to cross a universe. Okay, come often when you have time. Chin Feng said politely. Well, Mr. Chin Feng will also come to the sixth universe to play when he has time. All right, I'll go. After Bardos finished speaking, his body was directly wrapped in a white ball of light, and then disappeared into the temple of the heavenly god. Bardos. Chin Feng looked at Bardos who was leaving, the corners of his mouth raised slightly, and he said to himself, what a stunner in the world. Quote. To be honest, whether it is appearance, figure or temperament, Bardos is definitely a goddess. If you have to talk about the shortcomings, it is probably the light blue skin color and age. But these things don't have much impact at all. On the contrary, there is a strange sense of excitement. Okay, since Bardos is gone, I won't practice today, let's go out and have fun. Chin Feng decided to give himself a holiday today, after all, the corners of his mouth have been very tired recently. It's just that just when Chin Feng was about to leave the heavenly god temple to indulge, Sun Wukong and Vegeta suddenly came to him. Yo Chin Feng, long time no see. Sun Wukong beckoned to Chin Feng and greeted casually. What are you two doing again? And didn't you just come yesterday? It's been a long time since I saw you. Quote. Chin Feng looked at Sun Wukong and Vegeta, and said a little speechlessly. These two guys are still persistent enough. In the past half a month, they have looked for themselves at least 12 times. Really? Hee <laughs> hee, I forgot. Sun Wukong scratched his head innocently and smiled awkwardly. Vegeta, on the other hand, glared at Sun Wukong. This guy's personality is really helpless. Mr. Chin Feng, please guide me to be at ease. Vegeta put his posture very low this time and said to Chin Feng. No matter this time, he would stay in the heavenly god temple and follow Chin Feng's cultivation. You're really not fit to practice the freedom extreme intention skill, Vegeta. Chin Feng said lightly to Vegeta. Because in, Dragon Ball Super, Vase has already said that Vegeta's vigilance is too strong, and there is no way to be free of distractions, and he can't reach the realm where his heart is like stopping water. So it's hard to use it physically. If you want to practice the extreme intention gong of freedom, you will get twice the result with half the effort. 
Hearing Qin Feng's words, Vegeta frowned. Then he directly took out a key and said to Qin Feng, This. This is a villa I bought for Mr. Qin Feng in the netherworld. Quote. Vegeta's tone was very stiff, and he said to Qin Feng with a frown. Then he handed over the key in his hand. Although I had never done such a thing before, I never thought that I would do such a thing before. But in order to become stronger, in order to surpass Kakarot, this kind of thing is really nothing. What do you mean? Gift giving doesn't seem to fit your character. Vegeta. Quote. Chin Feng smiled and said to Vegeta. After all, Vegeta is a haughty Saiyan prince with a lot of self-esteem. In Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super, there was only one whisper in front of Frieza and Beerus. I didn't expect to be so sophisticated today, and I even learned how to give gifts. Vegeta, you've prepared such a big gift, you're too scheming, aren't you? Sun Wukong also looked at Vegeta in great surprise. In my impression, Vegeta is not such a person, huh? Especially since Chin Feng is still a Saiyan, Vegeta should be more repulsive to Saiyans who are stronger than him. Shut up, Kakarot. Vegeta scolded Sun Wukong, I really don't want to come with this guy. But he can't get rid of it like Kraft Candy. Then he looked at Chin Feng, gritted his teeth, obviously very entangled, and said, I. I see that Mr. Chin Feng has been living in the Heavenly God Temple, and he should not have his own residence, so I want to send you a villa. Quote. After saying that, Vegeta only felt that her cheeks were hot. What the hell is this bad idea, Bulma? Actually let Prince Vegeta do such a thing. If you are rejected, it is equivalent to putting your dignity on the ground and letting others trample on it. Looking at Vegeta's hideous expression, Chin Feng also knew that Vegeta had made up his mind this time. Okay. For the sake of your sincerity, I'll tell you how to improve. But Freedom Extreme Intention Gong is really not for you. Vegeta can be regarded as letting go of his dignity in order to become stronger, and there is no need to embarrass him anymore. A way to get stronger. Hearing Chin Feng's words, Vegeta had an excited look on his face. The purpose of wanting to learn Chi Freedom Extreme Intention Gong is to become stronger. Therefore, the way to become stronger is not to cultivate the Freedom Extreme Intention Gong, which is not much different for oneself. As long as you can get stronger, that's fine. Please. May I ask Mr. Chin Feng, what did you just say about the method of becoming stronger? Quote. Vegeta asked excitedly. So, you should remember the servant vase beside Beerus, right? Chin Feng looked at Sun Wukong and Vegeta and asked. Of course I do. Both of them nodded, but they didn't know what Chin Feng meant by this. That vase, his true identity is the master of Beerus, the god of destruction. What? Sun Wukong's Vegeta's pupils shrank tightly. Obviously, he was shocked by Chin Feng's words. That guy who was submissive to Beerus turned out to be Beerus's master. This is indeed very shocking news. The shock of the two of them was naturally expected by Chin Feng. Then he continued, that guy's favorite thing is the food of the earth, and it won't be long before he comes to the earth. Quote. What should I do then? I think you should be clear. Anyway, I don't have time to guide them personally, so let them follow Vase. After all, the plot of Dragon Ball Super was originally developed like that. I understand, thank you, Mr. Chin Feng. Vegeta obviously understood Chin Feng's words. The master of the god of destruction Beerus, that means that his strength is above Beerus and Chin Feng. If I can get his guidance, my strength will definitely improve by leaps and bounds. At that time, he may be able to surpass Chin Feng and Beerus. Okay, okay, let's go and wait for the rabbit. Remember Vess's greatest hobby is food, understand. Chin Feng waved his hand towards Vegeta and Sun Wukong, obviously a little impatient. Well, I see, then I'll go first. After Vegeta greeted Chin Feng, he jumped directly from the Heavenly God Temple with a leap of his body. Hey, Vegeta, wait for me, Vegeta, you don't want to go to Bis alone, do you? Sun Wukong watched Vegeta leave in such a hurry and hurriedly followed. I can't let Vegeta become stronger alone. After Sun Wukong and Vegeta left, Chin Feng went to the nether for a walk. I've been on earth for so long, and I'm really getting bored. Take advantage of this time to travel to other planets in the universe. Chin Feng made this decision. You must know that the seventh universe is very vast, and there are countless planets in the universe. 
There are many places that I haven't been to myself, and they don't show it clearly in Dragon Ball. Maybe there will be some planets that are more suitable for your cultivation. Just like the planet Vegeta, gravity is ten times greater than that of Earth. The planet Namek has Dragon Ball, which is more powerful than Earth. There is also the planet Yadrat, where the inhabitants know a lot of special abilities. Maybe you will be able to discover a new continent and find a planet that can help you improve your strength. After making up his mind, Chin Feng left the Earth the next day and set off directly without a purpose. Anyway, except for some special planets, I don't know much about them. Shout. After Chin Feng teleported, he directly appeared on a barren planet. What planet is this? Chi is very small, and it is very weak, and this environment is too unsuitable for survival, right? Chin Feng looked around and said to himself. Woo. Almost at the same time as Chin Feng's voice fell, countless figures suddenly appeared in front of Chin Feng. There are two kinds of people, one is Chin Feng is very familiar with it, and he has seen it in the Dragon Ball anime before. The Adrath Star Man was dressed exactly the same as the Adrath Star costume that Sun Wukong was wearing at that time. Very short. There is another one, also wearing the costume of the Adrath, and the appearance is very simple, completely the bleached Mr. Bobo. It's just two more tentacles than Mr. Bobo. Did I teleport to the planet Adrat for the first time? Chin Feng looked at these people in front of him with some surprise and said to himself. Although there were dozens of figures in front of him, Chin Feng could only feel two breaths. In other words, this is the ability of the Adraths. Your style of painting is really simple. Chin Feng looked at the Namek star in front of him and said with a smile. Compared to the Saiyans, it is. Don't you know what the purpose of this gentleman's visit to Adrath is in? One of the Yadrats at the head looked at Chin Feng and asked. The human who suddenly appeared in front of him was very similar to Mr. Wukong, who had been here more than 10 years ago. That's why he was sure of the identity of the other Saiyan. There's no special purpose, I'm here for leisure, but now that I'm on the planet Adrath, it's a pity to leave like this. Chin Feng smiled and said to the Adrath star in front of him. After all, although the strength of the Adrath star people is not strong, there are still a lot of strange moves. For example, Sun Wukong's instantaneous movement, as well as the recovery technique, gigantization, doppelganger technique, etc. And these people in front of them are actually clones created by two people using their abilities. Looks like you've seen through our tricks. The Yadrat, who had been talking, looked at Chin Feng and said. The reason why they conjure up so many clones is that they are afraid of being underestimated by other invaders. Take me to your elders. I had something to do with him. Quote. Chin Feng looked at the two guys in front of him and said. Then please come with me. The guy didn't refuse at all, and turned around after just saying it. Chin Feng also followed. After all, no matter why he is so obedient, but with his own strength, he is not afraid of what they think. A few minutes later, the three of them came to a room. Inside stood a person who was the same as the guy in front of him with a simple painting style. But it's so big, it's almost up to the ceiling. This is our elder, Lord Pibala. The Adrat in front of Chin Feng said to Chin Feng. It turned out to be a Saiyan, and the last time I saw Goku was more than 10 years ago. It feels familiar to see you. Pibala looked at Chin Feng and spoke. Elder Pibala, I won't waste any more time, and I'll get straight to the point, I want to learn Shi your special abilities. Chin Feng looked at Pibala and said directly. Originally, I didn't have such a plan. But since I'm here, I can just learn some special abilities she go back. Keep in mind that healing is in your own system shop, but it requires 100,000 exchange value. It's also a lot of money. Okay, I can promise to teach you some techniques, but you also need to promise me something. Elder Pibala nodded without hesitation, but made a condition. Conditionally. That's fair, and I won't take advantage of you, please. Chin Feng nodded, in fact, this kind of exchange of conditions, he might feel more at ease. Sir, refreshed. That's right, the planet of Adrath may face a devastating disaster in the near future, as long as Mr. promises to help us get through, I can teach you any of the techniques of the planet Adraird. And I can feel the horror of Spolito in you, more than enough to deal with the invaders. Elder Pibala said to Chin Feng with some excitement. 
Unexpectedly, when the planet Yadrat was facing destruction, a savior appeared. Spolito. What's that? Quote. Chin Feng didn't know much about the Adrath star people. I really don't know what it is. In Mr. Wukong's words, it is the chi in the body. Elder Pibara explained. It's all the same thing, but it's called differently. All right. Got it. Chin Feng nodded. In this universe, there will be no third person who can compete with him except Beerus and Weiss. At least for now. I don't know what to call him. Elder Pibala asked with a bit of respect in his tone at this time. Just call me Chin Feng. Chin Feng said to Pibala. Okay, Mr. Chin Feng, if you're ready, I can teach you how to control Spolito at any time. Controlling gas. I can control my chi very well, and I don't need you to teach me this. Quote. Chin Feng said lightly. Coupled with the time in the spirit time house, it has been more than 10 years, and the control of chi is now very familiar, so there is no need to learn from Pibala. Mr. Chin Feng, you are wrong, Spolito's control is not so simple. When you really learn the control of Spolito, your strength will be greatly improved, and all the techniques of the planet Adrath were born in the process of learning chi control Spolito. Pibala explained to Chin Feng seriously. This is true whether it is moving, splitting or expanding. Is that so? Chin Feng looked at Pibala with some surprise, he had never heard of this kind of thing. I haven't even seen it in those Dragon Ball videos. After all, in the Dragon Balls I have seen, there are not many introductions to the planet Adrath and the people of Adrath. Yes, I don't have to lie to you. Pibala nodded solemnly and said. All right, then I'll try your chi control method, if it really works. Quote. If you can increase your strength after controlling your chi, that's the best thing. Without further ado, let's get started. Chin Feng said to Pibala. Because although I came out to travel, I didn't waste much time. After all, in a little while, a lot will happen to Earth and the seventh universe. Well, we can start at any time. Pibala naturally couldn't ask for it, the stronger Chin Feng's strength, the safer the planet would be. Time passed day by day, and it had been five days since Chin Feng reached the planet Adrath. During these five days, the only thing Chin Feng did was meditate on a needle-pointed pillar. The whole body can only be pressed against each other with the feet on top of the needlepoint post. Sitting like this can really control the so-called spolito and increase my strength. Chin Feng slowly opened his eyes, looked at Pibala who was doing the same action on the side, and asked. Of course, I have to praise Mr. Chin Feng's perseverance, being able to hold on motionless for five days. Pibala said to Chin Feng. Because the first time Goku did this action, he only lasted for an hour. His personality is more anxious, so he can't hold on for a long time. And although Chin Feng is also a Saiyan, his heart is much more resolute than Wukong. Regarding Pibala's words, Chin Feng didn't think so. You know, he's been in and out of the spirit time room alone in such a boring place, I don't know how many years. Now it's just five days of holding one position, and it's not anything special at all. How long do I need to keep this moving now? Chin Feng just wanted to know this question. You have to know that you can stick to it for a long time, but that doesn't mean you won't get bored. First of all, you have to adjust the balance of body and mind, Wukong has lasted for 150 days. Pibala continued. It wasn't until 150 days later that Goku mastered the ability to teleport. 150 days. You're kidding me. Chin Feng pursed his lips. I don't have time to waste it. At most, for a month, if his chi has not changed, he will not let Pibala go. Wait a minute, suddenly there are two strong spoofs, as if they are coming here. Suddenly, Pibala's face changed and he spoke. Almost after Pibala's voice fell, Chin Feng also felt those two breaths. Although it was far away, it was very fast, and it really flew towards this side of the planet Adrath. That's not right. Why can I sense Chi so far away? Chin Feng suddenly looked at Pibala in surprise and asked. In other words, it was absolutely impossible for me to feel the Chi so far away. This is the result of these few days of practice, and you are now able to perceive the Spolito at a greater distance. Pibala spoke. His combat power is very weak, but he can sense Spolito from a long distance. I see, it seems to be really useful. Chin Feng's heart was overjoyed. But who are these two gases? 
one of them should be stronger than the monkey king and Vegeta of the super race god. And the other chi, the strength of a single chi, is estimated to be not much weaker than the destruction god Beerus. There is absolutely no such powerful guy in the seventh universe. Although Brawly in, Dragon Ball Super Brawly, has this potential, he does not have this strength now. And if there were such a strong human, Beerus would not be able to find a Monaka to take the head in the match against the sixth universe. But who could it be? That powerful chi made Qin Feng's heart suddenly rise with a strong desire to fight. After all, it is the blood of the Saiyans of the fighting nation that flows in his body. Pibala, these two gases can't be the invaders you say, right? Qin Feng turned his head and asked. No, the aggressor I'm talking about is an artificial life form made by high technology, and there is no Spolito. Pibala shook her head and said. So it's an android. The artificial life form is almost the same as the artificial man 16 that appeared on Earth. So this kind of artificial human is completely devoid of gas. It's just an artificial person, and you won't take it seriously. Now I am more interested in these two huge chi that suddenly appeared. Who will it be? Mr. Chin Feng, keep your body and mind balanced, your balance is starting to collapse. Pibala looked at Chin Feng and reminded. Phew. Chin Feng took a long breath. Then I stabilized my mentality, because I suddenly felt those two breaths just now, so I was a little too excited. Minutes and seconds passed. Ten minutes later, suddenly a transparent square appeared beside Chin Feng and Pibala. Cosmic Shuttle Cube. Chin Feng was suddenly stunned, this thing was quite familiar to him. In, Dragon Ball Super, Bis used it, and when it escaped half a year ago, he also used the space shuttle block. And the two figures in the cosmic cube made Chin Feng's mouth open wide in surprise. Because these two people are so familiar. In Dragon Ball Super, they are definitely two people who are very impressive. Gray Jillian, the strongest human in the 11th universe, and the candidate destruction god of the 11th universe. It is said that Jiren is more than the destruction god of the 11th universe if it is only his strength. It's enough to imagine how powerful this guy is. And Topo, as a candidate for the god of destruction of the 11th universe, has been personally trained by the angel Markarita, and his strength is naturally not weak. These two guys actually appeared in the 7th universe. What are they doing here? Regarding the sudden appearance of the two, Chin Feng was very incomprehensible. First of all, in the, Dragon Ball Super, anime or manga, there is no appearance of Jiren and Topo coming to the seventh universe. And Jillian is a very withdrawn person, he is not willing to trust anyone and does not want to work with other people. Why did he appear in the seventh universe today with Torpo? This really made Chin Feng very incomprehensible. But since they showed up today, I must fight them well. Maybe fighting Jillian will improve your strength. Who are the two of you? What to do on our planet Adrat? Quote. Pibala jumped down from the pinpoint pillar and appeared in front of Jillian and Topo, asking in a wary tone. After saying that, countless Adrats suddenly appeared around. It's the usual scary move of the Adrats. Of course, this kind of scaring method is of no use to strong people like Jillian and Tuapo. Ji Lian and Tuo Po didn't look at Pibala at all, but stared at Qin Feng tightly. Then Tuo Po suddenly said, Ji Lian, is the chi you just felt as him? Quote. Ten minutes ago, Ji Lian suddenly felt a strong chi, and then they followed the chi to find it. I have to say that the guy in front of him is very angry. Maybe his strength is still above his own. I didn't expect that the seventh universe, a universe with the lowest comprehensive strength, would have such a powerful human being. It's kind of incredible. Jillian nodded, but did not speak. The big eyes narrowed slightly, and looked at Qin Feng. Seems to be determining something. So, is that him? Quote. Torpo asked again. They ventured to other universes this time to help Jillian find someone. A very important person for Jillian. It can be said that Jillian has become so withdrawn now, and he doesn't want to trust anyone because of him. Of course, Jillian was able to become so powerful, and he also contributed a lot. The reason is because Jillian can't let go of the obsession in his heart. No, not this one. Although he may have that ability, the chi is completely different. Ji Lian shook his head and said to Tuo Po in a cold tone. Don't be discouraged Jillian, Markarita gave us the universe shuttle block, and we can travel to other universes. 
As long as those people are alive, we can find him. Tuo Po looked at Ji Lian, who was a little disappointed, and opened his mouth to comfort. In fact, after so long, Jillian should let it go. But this guy is just too stubborn. Hem. Jillian looked at Topo and wanted to say thank you, but he couldn't. Remembering that he was betrayed by his most trusted companion in the past, the so-called trust was worthless in his eyes. In fact, he really wants to trust his teammates like Topo and Tispo. But remembering that he had been betrayed by his own companions before, he couldn't trust anyone anymore. Let's go. Since it's not those people, let's go to the next universe and we will always find it. Quote. Topo spoke again. Jillian nodded, and then the two of them wanted to leave. The two had just turned their heads, and while Pibala was still rejoicing in his heart, a voice suddenly sounded from behind him. You can come and go as you want to go, and you don't take me seriously. Hearing the faint voice, Jillian and Topo turned their heads. It was to see that Chin Feng had already appeared less than five meters away from them. I'm really sorry, we just recognized the wrong person, I'm sorry if it caused you any inconvenience. Tuo Po nodded at Chin Feng and apologized. If it were a normal day, he would definitely not do it. But the guy in front of him is not bad, and they have more important things to do now. In order not to delay time, this is the only way. Jillian of the 11th universe and the candidate god of destruction. You dare to come to the 7th universe without permission, aren't you afraid of death? Chin Feng suddenly became playful, and said coldly to Tuo Po and Ji Lian. Phew. What the? Quote. After hearing Chin Feng's words, Ji Lian and Tuo Po's eyes showed extremely shocked looks. There were even more turbulent waves in my heart. The only special thing about a human being is that he is stronger, so he can know the two of them. How is this possible? And he also knew that Torpo was a candidate to destroy the gods. You must know this kind of thing, except for the destruction god of the 11th universe and the angel Makarita, even the destruction gods of other universes don't know. Why is a human being so cleared? Hey, who the hell are you? Why is it so clear who we are? Tuo Po's face changed greatly, and he looked at Chin Feng with a gloomy expression and asked. This guy would have known their identity. If Beerus were to trouble the lady taste over this, it would not be easy. After all, the two of them have always been at odds. Well said. I am the god of destruction in the seventh universe. Chin Feng suddenly smiled and said to the two. Cut, what are you kidding, do you think I won't know that the god of destruction in the seventh universe is Beerus? Tuo Po gritted his teeth, looked at Chin Feng and said angrily. Listen to me. I'm a candidate for the god of destruction in the seventh universe, just like you. Quote. You people from the eleventh universe dare to enter the seventh universe without permission, Tisk. Isn't this a good she? Chin Feng shook his head and said threateningly. After hearing Chin Feng's words, his face became more and more ugly. He is a candidate for the god of destruction in the eleventh universe, so this matter is a big problem, and he can't explain it. Jillian was only surprised at first, and then his face returned to calm. What about Jillian? Tuo Po looked at Jillian with some jealousy and asked. I didn't expect to be so unlucky to meet the god of destruction candidate of the seventh universe in the seventh universe. Defeat him, and we'll go to another universe. Ji Lian still said in a calm tone. It seems that the candidate god of destruction is not worth mentioning at all in his eyes. Of course, the reason why Jillian is so rampant is naturally because of his rampant capital. After all, this guy has cultivated as a human being, to the extent that he has surpassed the 11th universe to destroy the divine taste. It can be said that it is quite terrifying. It's perfectly normal to say something like this that can almost ignore the god of destruction candidate. Tapo didn't feel uncomfortable either. Because he himself, who is also a candidate to destroy the gods, is not Jillian's opponent at all. But this guy is a candidate for the god of destruction in the seventh universe, and if there is a fight, he may get into trouble. Toro frowned and said, if the eleventh universe suffers something unnecessary because of this, it will be troublesome. Don't fight, just let me come. Ji Lian said coldly. Although this guy's chi is very strong, it is only very strong, and he still doesn't take him seriously. What are you talking about, since you have made up your mind, we are comrades in arms, how can I back down? Let's fight. Tuo Po gritted his teeth and made up his mind. 
Tut tut, isn't it just a fight? Don't make it look like life and death, okay? Quote. Chin Feng looked at Tuo Po, who was frowning, and said teasingly. Tapo is worthy of being the captain of the 11th Cosmic Pride Team and the candidate god of destruction, and this sense of social responsibility is still quite strong. Tuo Po glanced at Chin Feng, and then said to Ji Lian, Ji Lian, let me come and meet him first. Quote. Let's see how much strength the candidate god of destruction of the seventh universe really has. Hem. Jillian nodded, and then stood straight to the side. For this level of fighting, I can't be too interested. You. With all due respect, your strength is too poor to break through, even if you give up justice and become a real god of destruction, you are not my opponent with one hand. Chin Feng shook his head and said lightly to Shangpa. This is not because Chin Feng deliberately despises Tuo Po, but because Shang Pa's strength is indeed weak in his opinion. A person who can be defeated by Deep Blue Vegeta is not qualified to be his opponent at all. Less self-righteous. Soon you will know the power of my iron fist. Tuo Po gritted his teeth, obviously a little unhappy by Chin Feng's arrogant words. In that case, come on. Looking at Tuo Po's unhappy expression, Chin Feng said lightly. Anyway, it doesn't take long to solve the break, it's all about having fun. He's strong, don't be careless. At this time, Ji Lian, who had been silent, actually opened his mouth to remind Topo. Hearing Ji Lian's reminder, Dao Tuo Po was startled at first, and then smiled. It seems that Jillian doesn't care about their teammates at all. Well, I understand. Then he nodded, and then clenched his fists tightly. Ha! Then there was a sudden roar and a terrifying wave of chi was born directly from under Tuo Po's feet, spreading out like ripples in all directions. Tuo Po's divine aura is very strong, and it should surpass the super race god Sun Wukong and Vegeta by a lot. It is estimated that even if it is the monkey king in the super blue form, the divine chi may not be as strong as Tuo Po. Show your strength, otherwise I will beat you in an instant. Quote. After Tuo Po released his divine aura, he said coldly to Qin Feng. Also as a candidate for God of Destruction, he is estimated to be able to release the Aura of God. Then look at it. Chin Feng smiled faintly. Then a red halo suddenly flashed in his eyes, and then Chin Feng's hair and pupils turned bright red. The whole person looks a little thinner, and he is even younger. This time, Chin Feng had just transformed into the form of a Super Saiyan God. Because of coping with the support, he doesn't need to change into the form of the Super Four Red Gods at all. Sure enough, you can also reach the realm of gods, but this is the first time I've seen your transformation. Tapo said with some surprise. In the 11th universe, there is no such thing. However, after the transformation, this guy's divine aura is no weaker than his own at all. It seems that if you want to defeat him quickly, it is a little unlikely. Come on, let me see how powerful you are as a candidate for the 11th universe god of destruction. After Qin Feng became the god of Super Saiyans, he beckoned to Tuo Po. There was a shallow smile on his face, but this smile turned into a kind of contempt in Topo's eyes. Cut, what a smug. Tuo Po frowned, and then directly punched Qin Feng. Fist of justice. Shout. The speed of the support was very fast, and it appeared in front of Qin Feng almost instantly. Pibala on the side was stunned, this is really a fairy fight. He couldn't see the movement of Topo at all, and the two of them had disappeared. However, the speed of the break was very average in Qin Feng's opinion. Then he stretched out his right palm lightly, directly blocking Topo's attack. It's very easy. Phew. What the? Quote. This guy is so powerful. The moment his fist of justice was blocked, Topo's complexion changed greatly. I didn't expect my charged blow to be blocked so easily. And the guy didn't take a step back at all, and the ground under his feet was intact. This requires not only great strength, but also precise control of power and divine energy. It seems that Pibala's cultivation method is really useful. Qin Feng's heart was overjoyed. Because he could feel that he was now more precise in controlling his qi. In the past, if I had received the attack of Topo, even if I would not have retreated, the ground under my feet would definitely be cracked. And it takes more gas to consume. But this time, the gas consumed is very small, but the effect is very good. While Qin Feng was thinking about something, Tuo Po quickly withdrew his fist. This guy is so much stronger than I thought. 
Looks like I need to give it my all. Tuo Po frowned and said. Then the left hand held the wrist of the right hand, and the right hand was in the shape of five fingers, and yellow energy balls shot out from the fingertips of the five fingers like lasers. Flash of justice. Then the ball of energy like a rain of bullets shot towards Chin Feng. Humph. This kind of stuff is completely useless to me. Quote. Chin Feng smiled disdainfully, and then a bright red ball of energy condensed in his palm. Aimed at the top. Mr. Chin Feng carefully control your own spilito. Pibala looked at the energy ball in Chin Feng's palm and hurriedly reminded. It's just that as soon as his voice fell, the energy ball in Chin Feng's hand flew over. Shout. The moment he got out of his hand, the bright red energy ball suddenly became very huge. What's the situation? Chin Feng's body was shocked and took two steps back, a little blindfolded. When did your own chi become so strong? What? Does this want to kill me? Quote. Tuo Po looked at the huge ball of energy and was suddenly taken aback. But now it's too late to dodge. This ball of energy will definitely be able to defeat yourself easily, and may even kill yourself directly. Shout. Just when Tuo Po didn't know how to dodge, Ji Lian's body suddenly appeared, and he pressed his hand towards the huge energy ball. When Ji Lian's right palm touched the huge red energy ball, his body suddenly sank, and his feet were inserted into the ground. However, he steadily took Chin Feng's huge energy ball. Although two clear footprints were stepped on the ground, it was clear that Jillian did not use much force. Then with a wave of his right palm, the energy ball flew out directly. Thundered. Falling on the ground thousands of feet away, a shocking explosion sounded suddenly. Smoke billowed and huge mushroom clouds rose into the sky. When the mushroom cloud dissipated, a deep pit about 100 jong wide appeared on the ground. Thanks. Thank you, Jillian. Quote. Tuo Po looked at Ji Lian with some embarrassment and said. I originally wanted to solve him for Jillian, but I didn't expect to lose before I could hold on to a round in the hands of others. If it weren't for Ji Lian's help, it is estimated that he would have been seriously injured by now. Let's go and rest. Ji Lian said calmly to Tuo Po. This guy from the seventh universe in front of him is definitely not something that Topo can handle. I can only play on my own. I'll go, the chi just now is so strong. It's unbelievable. Chin Feng looked at the huge deep gully in front of him, swallowed his saliva and said. I warned you, but I didn't have time. Pibala said to Chin Feng on the side. He was also shocked by Chin Feng's strength. Although he had long felt that Chin Feng had a strong strength in his body. But I didn't expect it to be so strong. Also it seems that your control method is really useful. Quote. My strength has improved a lot, and I have earned it from this trip. Chin Feng clenched his fists and said in surprise. Estimating his current strength, he has completely surpassed Beerus when he opens the ten times Realm King Fist. If you fight again, you will definitely not be so embarrassed to win. Then Chin Feng looked at Ji Lian. This guy just made himself a little interested, and he was too weak. I didn't expect to be able to fight you so soon, what a surprise to me. Jillian. Quote. Chin Feng said with a smile at Ji Lian. Ji Lian's strength is indeed very strong, and he can deal with everyone in the seventh universe without pressure in the power conference. Even if he comprehended the monkey king of perfection and freedom, he was not able to eliminate Ji Lian in the end. And it's also supported by Golden Frieza and Android 17. You are not my opponent, if I were you, I would consciously admit defeat. Ji Lian said coldly to Chin Feng. The tone is very, very confident. It's a bit early to say this, I guess it's you who will admit defeat by then. Chin Feng tilted his head and said to Ji Lian. After finishing speaking, Chin Feng's fists clenched tightly, and the orange-red aura became even more surging. It was like a sea of fire, appearing behind Chin Feng. And Chin Feng's body also changed. The clothes on the upper body have disappeared, red hair has grown, and the body is unusually strong. The bright red hair became a little thicker, and the eye sockets and pupils turned red. It's such a strong divine aura, this guy can even get stronger. He just fought me, and he didn't use any force at all. Tuo Po opened his mouth wide in shock, frowned and looked at Chin Feng and said. Because this guy has increased his divine power at least a hundredfold in an instant. If he had used this form to fight himself just now, he would have been able to kill himself completely in an instant. 
I didn't expect the candidate god of destruction of the seventh universe to be so perverted. With this kind of strength, it is estimated that even Jillian will fall into a bitter battle. How did you come across such a difficult guy? It's kind of funny, you're the first human to make me feel stressed. You may be stronger than me. Jillian said in shock. But there was excitement in the eyes of the bronze bell-sized eyes. After all, masters are lonely, especially a strong man like Ji Lian, and even the strongest god of destruction in the universe is not his opponent. Therefore, when you meet an evenly matched opponent, you will naturally be excited. Just like in the power conference, Jillian met the monkey king who was at ease and extremely willful. No, maybe, it's definitely better than you. The corners of Qin Feng's mouth raised, and he said confidently. I still have the flash time skill, and the ten times realm king fist and the freedom extreme intention skill have not been used. These are your own whole cards. Really. You're overestimating yourself. Quote. Ji Lian still said in a calm tone. Won't you know if you try it? Qin Feng's voice fell, and instantly flew towards Ji Lian. The speed was very fast, and even Tuo Po didn't see Qin Feng's movements clearly at all. Boom. In the next second, Qin Feng and Ji Lian's fists collided heavily. Rumble. Wu la la. Ji Lian's feet rubbed the ground and directly withdrew from a distance of dozens of zhong. The ground was plowed into two marks. However, Ji Lian's face did not change in any way, and then his legs bent slightly, and then his body suddenly shot out like an arrow from the string. It's also amazingly fast. Both fists blasted out towards Qin Feng. Come on. Show me your power, Jillian. Quote. An excited look appeared on Qin Feng's face, and then he also clenched his fists and blasted over. Thundered. The moment the attack fists of the two collided, a huge circle directly appeared on the ground, and it quickly collapsed. The dust in the sky appeared like a huge earthy yellow barrier. The crack dozens of Zhang Wai took the contact point of the two people as the center of the circle, and swept out in all directions. The entire planet of Adrat trembled violently. These two guys are too strong, if they continue to fight, it is estimated that before those invaders come, the planet of Adrat will be destroyed. Pibala said with a very heavy face. But now there is no way, with their own strength, there is no way to organize them at all. Maybe a small shock wave can completely crush yourself. It's too strong, and the strength of competing with Jillian is not inferior at all. Still very shocked, Tuo Po muttered to himself. At this time, the dust disappeared, and the bodies of the two appeared in the sight of Torpo and Pibala. I saw that the two of them were palm to palm at this time, and small snake-like green tendons appeared all over their bodies, squirming constantly. There were a few drops of sweat on his forehead, and it was obvious that he was doing his best. I didn't expect your strength to be so strong, much stronger than I imagined. Qin Feng gritted his teeth and said to Ji Lian. According to his own reasoning, he should be able to suppress Jillian in strength now. But this guy's strength is much stronger than in his own reasoning. If you want to defeat him completely, you estimate that you must at least open the Realm King Fist. I don't need your compliment. Ji Lian was still like a robot, and said coldly. After saying that, the two of them strengthened their strength again. Rumble. The ground under the feet of the two instantly cracked, and an abyss appeared. Then the two of them each retreated a dozen feet. Jillian's body jumped to his feet and stood in the air. Ha! Then with an angry roar, a red aura appeared around him, and the whole person seemed to be on fire. The temperature of the entire planet suddenly rises sharply. Then Ji Lian clenched his fist, and then slammed into Qin Feng without hesitation. Jillian's natural power is very powerful, and although it does not carry any breath, the air that shakes it produces ripples that are visible to the naked eye. On the side of Qin Feng's body, he dodged Ji Lian's attack. Burst. After Qin Feng dodged, the ground was directly smashed into a deep pit that slanted downward. Seeing that Qin Feng dodged his first punch, Ji Lian was not surprised, and then his fists slammed into Qin Feng one after another. The ground was constantly exploding, like a gopher making a hole. It was just by relying on the fist wind to penetrate the entire planet, and there would be such a monster in the universe. Pibala trembled with fear. Now that the planet of Yadrat is full of holes, if the battle continues like this, it is estimated that the entire planet of Yadrat will be destroyed. Don't try to hit me with an attack like this. Qin Feng said to Ji Lian a little bored. 
After speaking, Qin Feng's body suddenly disappeared to the ground. What? It's so fast, it's not even visible. Ji Lian's face changed drastically. Because at that moment, he couldn't see Qin Feng's shadow at all. And even his chi completely disappeared in that instant. Tuo Po's shock was even worse, because he couldn't feel Qin Feng's divine aura at all. I can't feel a single strand of it. It was as if it had completely disappeared in an instant. Behind you. Suddenly, a cold banter sounded from behind him. Ji Lian's face sank, because at that moment, he felt Qin Feng's chi, and then blasted out with a punch at the fastest speed. Shout. It's just that his fist pierced the air directly. But there was no resistance at all. In other words, Qin Feng was not behind him at all. Oh no, fooled. Ji Lian's eyes froze slightly, but before he could react, there was a heart-piercing pain in his back. The body fell like a meteorite. Bang bang bang. Ji Lian's body slid a distance of dozens of feet against the ground, plowing the ground into a shocking trace. Burst. Ji Lian spat out a mouthful of saliva mixed with dust. There was an angry look in his eyes. For many years, I haven't been hit, and I haven't been so embarrassed. Jillian was actually knocked away. This is the first time I've seen it, is that guy really that strong? Tuo Po looked at Jillian lying on the ground, his face was very gloomy. I didn't expect to come to the seventh universe this time, and I encountered this kind of hard stubble. Could it be that they are going to capsize in the winning ditch today? The most important problem now is that the guy's strength is not weaker than Jillian at all, and his speed is a pervert. It is estimated that Jillian is not as fast as him. The most important thing is that his chi will disappear completely when he attacks, so no matter how strong Jillian is, he will not be able to sense his position. It's like being blind, and you're in a weak position. And at this time, Jillian stood up again. Anger finally appeared on the calm face. I'm absolutely definitely won't let you go. Quote. Ji Lian looked at Qin Feng with murderous eyes. Then his arms shook suddenly, and he pulled out a stance. Ha! Then there was a roar of rage. The terrifying crimson aura spread in an instant, and the red pride team uniform on Ji Lian's body was directly shattered. The sky behind Jiren turned crimson. Ji Lian's state at this time is like Ji Lian when he is fighting with perfect freedom extreme Yigong. Qi has reached a state of peak. Are you going to go all out so soon? Qin Feng looked at Ji Lian, whose breath was surging in an instant, pursed his lips, and said lightly. At this time, Ji Lian's qi was very high, and the peaks within a thousand jong were crushed into powder. Pibala had long since disappeared, apparently afraid of being crushed into a patty by this terrifying pressure, and had long since hid far away. Even the support that was a hundred feet away was blocked in front of him with his arms at this time, used to resist the terrifying pressure and shock wave. Ha! Ji Lian continued to roar, and the aura around him directly turned into real flames, spreading out in all directions. Thundered. With Ji Lian as the center, the ground around it is constantly collapsing. The entire planet of Yadat was instantly devastated. Everywhere you look, there are red flames. And at this moment, Qin Feng felt that Pibala's chi had completely disappeared. Under such strong air pressure, their little strength would not be able to survive at all. Although the planet of Adrat may be destroyed if this continues, it is not a big problem, it will be good to let them be resurrected when the time comes. Qin Feng gritted his teeth and thought in his heart. The dragon ball that the Namek people gave to them last time in the sixth universe is still in the system backpack, so resurrecting the planet Adrat is very simple. Speaking of which, he did feel a little guilty about Yadrat, and it was he who took the initiative to fight Jillian that caused this kind of thing to happen. But the explosive clothes in front of him did make him feel quite excited. At this time, Ji Lian's body doubled, and his whole body was surrounded by this flame. His eyes turned crimson, and his slender eyes shot with cold battle intent. Shout. In the next second, Ji Lian's body burst out and rushed directly towards Qin Feng. The fist was surrounded by flames, and a punch smashed towards Qin Feng's head. Qin Feng hurriedly raised his right arm to block Ji Lian's fist. Boom. When the fist landed heavily on Qin Feng's arm, the terrifying aura wave instantly dispersed. Qin Feng's feet were directly inserted into the ground. Thundered. Subsequently, the planet behind Qin Feng directly exploded and turned into cosmic dust. 
The shock wave from the collision of this punch was too strong for this kind of planet to resist. It's a lot of power, but. Get the hell out of here. Quote. Chin Feng suddenly roared angrily, and the arrogance around him skyrocketed at the same time, and the chi increased several times in an instant. Then a punch slammed into Jillian's chest, sending Jillian flying. Bang bang bang. After Jiren fell to the ground, he continued to retreat several steps before unloading the terrifying power. Anyway, the planet of Adrat has become like this, so I'll have a good time with you. Jillian. Quote. Chin Feng's eyes flashed with a strong desire to fight. When the battle is over, he will immediately use the dragon balls to restore the destroyed planet. Phew. Then he exhaled softly, and he actually withdrew from the form of the Super Four Red Gods. This scene shocked both Topa and Jillian. Why did that guy suddenly quit his transformation form? What's going on? Is that guy ready to give up resistance? Quote. Tuo Po looked at Chin Feng, who suddenly withdrew from his transformation form, and muttered to himself with some puzzlement. You must know that this guy has always had the upper hand, even if he Jillian has used all his strength. He didn't suffer either. Why is the Chi suddenly so weak at this time? Looks like he's got a more powerful form. Ji Lian's eyes narrowed into a slit, looking at Chin Feng and thinking in his heart. He didn't think this guy would suddenly give up resisting. And looking at his confident look, it is obvious that there are still whole cards that have not been taken out, and they may be even more powerful than just now. Phew. Sigh. Quote. Chin Feng took a breath, and then his eyes suddenly became sharp. Then the black and white pupils turned silver gray in an instant, and the hair turned completely silver. Brilliant aura rose from the periphery of the body, accompanied by clear silver lines. What's going on? His chi suddenly became extremely calm, completely different from the arrogant anger just now. Jillian frowned. Although this guy's anger was not as high as just now, he felt a stronger pressure. He never expected that other universes would have such powerful human beings. The first time I used my free and extreme will, let me get acquainted with it. Chin Feng directly turned into a perfect freedom extreme intention gong. He wanted to feel how powerful the freedom extreme intention gong was in his hands, and whether he could defeat Jillian in explosive clothes. After all, it will definitely become your own whole card in the future, so now you must use it very freely. No matter what happens to you, I will definitely defeat you. Ji Lian clenched his fists tightly, and then his body was thousand, and he attacked directly towards Chin Feng. The speed is quite amazing. Since this guy's chi has weakened so much, he will definitely be able to defeat him now. Shout. Ji Lian's body flashed away, and he appeared in front of Chin Feng in an instant, with a crimson tail behind him. Swish. With an astonishing momentum, the fist directly slammed into Chin Feng. Chin Feng's whole body was bubbling with a large amount of silver light, and then his body flashed slightly. It looked like it was very slow, but it dodged Jillian's punch with precision. Phew. What the? It was dodged. Quote. Jillian's expression froze. Obviously, the speed of that guy just now was so slow, why was he able to dodge his own attack? Is it a coincidence? No, for this kind of guy, it certainly can't be a coincidence. Swish. Jillian threw another punch. The result was exactly the same, and Chin Feng perfectly avoided the past. Phew. Ji Lian's face was gloomy, he gritted his teeth tightly, and then his two fists blasted out countless combination punches in succession. And Chin Feng's body seemed to be split into countless in an instant, perfectly avoiding all the attacks. In the end, they came together again. Perfect and free, it is indeed very easy to use. I don't even need to look at or think about Gillian's angle of attack. Quote. Chin Feng thought excitedly. You must know that if you don't use the freedom extreme mind skill, you need to think through your brain, and then your body and muscles can react. But now, there is no need for the brain to think, and the muscles can react subconsciously. React to danger and avoid it spontaneously. In this way, the speed is not just a little bit faster. It's a big improvement. Especially when playing against a strong player like Jillian, even 0.001 seconds may determine the outcome of the game. There were so many attacks, and they didn't hit a single one. What the hell is going on? As time passed, Jillian's face became more and more gloomy. He understands the situation very well at this time, and after he exerts his strongest strength, 
his physical strength will be consumed very quickly. And if you can't hit this guy all the time, you'll be defeated without a fight after a long time. Of course, he didn't know that Chin Feng, who had performed his extreme intention skill, had a more terrifying physical exertion than him. Therefore, Chin Feng also wanted to end the battle as soon as possible. The physical consumption of the Freedom Extreme Intention Gong is too great, and I have to deal with Ji Lian quickly. Chin Feng thought secretly in his heart. And Ji Lian's current strength is too far from his limit. When I first saw Ji Lian, the strongest human in the 11th universe, I really had a strong desire to fight. But as the time of the battle grew, that desire to fight had begun to wane. I've already gotten used to it, so let's end this battle as soon as possible. Jillian, it's time for me to attack next. The corners of Qin Feng's mouth suddenly lifted, and then his body suddenly disappeared. A brilliant arc was left in midair, and Qin Feng's body appeared behind Ji Lian in the next second. Topo on the side didn't see what was happening at all. Bang bang bang. It wasn't until Qin Feng stood firm that Ji Lian seemed to have suffered countless attacks in an instant, his body staggered several times, and then flew out directly sideways. Thundered. A shocking crack was plowed directly into the ground. And Jillian's body is embedded at the end of the crack. Wow. A mouthful of blood spat out directly from Jillian's mouth. His face was pale, and there was a helpless look in his eyes. That guy far surpassed himself in terms of strength and speed. And just now, he increased his speed to the limit, but he still couldn't touch his body. Although he was arrogant and didn't want to admit it, Qin Feng's comprehensive strength far surpassed him. Jillian, are you going to be defeated too? Tuo Po frowned, looked at Ji Lian with blood on the corner of his mouth, and said in a low voice. If Jillian is defeated, then even if he gives up his justice and becomes a real god of destruction, he will not be his opponent. Besides, he can become a god of destruction, and this guy is also a candidate for a god of destruction, and he can also become a god of destruction. So destroying energy doesn't work for him either. It is estimated that even if he is an adult, he is far from his opponent. The last time, if you can't beat him, it means. I couldn't beat him at all. Quote. A look of relief suddenly appeared in Jillian's eyes, and the last blow. If you can't help it, you can only accept your fate. Although this kind of thing, I have never thought about it. Ha! Jillian suddenly roared, his aura rose again, and the crimson aura directly filled the entire planet thundered. Only half of the planet of Adrath began to collapse continuously, and when the rubble fell into the arrogance around Jillian's body, it was instantly crushed into debris. In just a few seconds, the planet of Yadat completely disappeared directly under the squeeze of Jillian's super strong aura. The figures of Qin Feng, Ji Lian and Tuo Po appeared in the universe. At this time, the surrounding space was reflected red by Jillian's arrogance. This is all my strength, if you can go next, even if I am killed by you, I will sincerely admire your strength. Ji Lian, who was silent and silent, suddenly said to Qin Feng at this time. Don't worry. I just want to have a good fight with you, and I don't have much interest in your life. Quote. Qin Feng smiled faintly and said to Ji Lian. From the beginning to the end, he had no intention of killing Jillian and Torpo. I just want to have a good fight with Jillian. And now, Jillian's strength seems to be much weaker than his own, and that desire to fight is slowly fading. Hearing Qin Feng's words, Ji Lian was suddenly stunned, and soon an extremely determined look appeared in his eyes. Shout. Suddenly, Jillian's body flashed out. Only the crimson aura was left in place. The speed was very, very fast, and if it weren't for the long red flame tail behind him, there would be no way to judge the direction of Jillian. Of course, this is for someone who is relatively weak like Topo. In Qin Feng's eyes, Ji Lian's current speed can only be regarded as very fast. Not top notch. It seems that you want to compete in it, then I will satisfy you. Qin Feng opened his mouth lightly. Then there was a determined look in his eyes. Flashing time. Then he broke a sentence lightly, and his body suddenly disappeared. Once again, the breath was completely gone. Shout. Boom. In the next second, the bodies of the two came into contact with each other. Ji Lian's fist landed on Qin Feng's chest. Win. Win. Quote. Tuo Po looked at the scene that suddenly stopped in front of him, and the shock and worry just now instantly turned into ecstasy. 
He knew that Jillian would definitely not lose. Jillian is the strongest trump card of their 11th universe and the proud team. Even the God of Destruction was not his opponent, how could he possibly lose to the candidate God of Destruction of the 7th universe? Wow. Before Tuo Po's excited voice fell, he saw Ji Lian's face suddenly change, and then a mouthful of blood spurted out of his mouth. His facial features instantly turned hideous, revealing an extremely painful look. Because his fist only touched Qin Feng's chest, or it could be said that it only touched that kind of aura. And Qin Feng's knees were firmly pressed against Ji Lian's chest, making his fists and body unable to advance for half a point. So looking from the direction of Tuo Po, he couldn't see Qin Feng's knee clearly, thinking that Ji Lian hit Qin Feng. Ah. Jillian groaned in pain from his throat. Long. It's been a long time since I've been under such a heavy attack. Qin Feng slowly withdrew his knees and looked at Ji Lian with a faint smile. Although just now Jillian raised his speed to the limit. But after he exerted his freedom extreme intention skill and flash time skill, he had already stood at a time point that was beyond Jillian's reach. There's no way he's going to hit himself at all. I. I lost. Quote. I actually. Really lost. Quote. Jillian's body took a few steps back, muttering to himself in distraction. He never thought he would be defeated. At least until you meet the demons who slaughtered your own people and killed your own master. But the facts told him that he was really defeated, and the gap between them was difficult to make up. You are indeed very strong, Jillian. But no one is undefeated, and it is estimated that there will be more motivation after defeat, what do you say? Looking at Ji Lian, who was distracted and muttering to himself, Qin Feng said lightly. Although he is very strong now, there are too many people in this world who are stronger than him. The people of the whole king and the high priest now estimate that they can destroy themselves with a single finger. So he didn't think he would be undefeated all the time. If you are defeated, you may have more desire and motivation to become. Hearing Qin Feng's words, Ji Lian raised his head and looked at Qin Feng with some incredulity. I didn't expect him to say such a thing to himself, is he enlightening himself and motivating himself? I'm defeated, what's up to you? After Ji Lian said this, all the arrogance around him disappeared, and his hands hung down. Apparently resistance has been completely abandoned. There's no way, I can't win against him now. I said I wouldn't kill you, I'm not that interested, I just wanted to fight you, and now I'm doing it. You can go. Qin Feng spread his hands and said to Ji Lian. Aren't you afraid to let the tiger go back to the mountain? Because if you let me go today, one day I'll challenge you until I defeat you. Ji Lian looked at Qin Feng and said firmly. First of all, you are not a tiger, even if you are really a dragon or a tiger, you can only lie down in front of me. Secondly, no matter how many times you challenge me, you can't defeat me. The corners of Qin Feng's mouth raised, and he said very confidently. It is undeniable that Ji Lian's cultivation talent is undeniable, but if he wants to surpass himself, it is absolutely impossible. So I don't have any worries at all. What an uncomfortable guy with confidence. But what you just said is right, I lost to you today, I will work harder to cultivate, and I will defeat you one day. Jillian clenched his fists and said confidently. After all, he is also a talented leader. Seeing that you are so determined, then I am always ready to welcome your challenge. Qin Feng said with an indifferent face. If Jiren can get stronger in this blow, he may be a good opponent. Shout. At this time, Tuo Po flew to Ji Lian's side and asked, Are you okay? Jillian. Quote. Then he looked at Qin Feng with a look of jealousy. All right, you two can go. Qin Feng waved his hand towards Tuo Po and Ji Lian and said. Let's go. Jillian. Quote. Hearing Qin Feng's words, Tuo Po was stunned. Unexpectedly, after he defeated Ji Lian, he actually let the two of them leave. But this place should not stay for long, if this guy suddenly repents, it will be a bit of trouble. What's your name? Ji Lian looked at Qin Feng and asked. This is the first opponent I really admire, so you have to know his name. My name is Qin Feng, welcome to challenge me at any time. Qin Feng smiled faintly at Ji Lian and said. Anyway, no matter how many times Ji Lian challenges himself in the future, the ending will not change in any way. Qin Feng. Jillian said a word silently, then looked at Tuo Po and said, let's go. Quote. Hem. 
Tuo Po nodded, then took out the cosmic shuttle cube, turned his head to look at Qin Feng, and left on the universe shuttle cube. Phew. Seeing that Ji Lian and Tuo Po had completely disappeared, Qin Feng withdrew from the form of Freedom Extreme Intention Gong. Then a painful look appeared on his face. The damage to the body from the consumption of perfection and freedom seems to be even greater than I imagined. Feeling the sharp pain coming from his body, Qin Feng gritted his teeth and muttered to himself. There is no doubt about the power of the freedom extreme. But the consumption is also very huge. Even Qin Feng's current recovery energy was a little unbearable after only holding on for a few minutes. If Jillian hadn't been defeated by himself so quickly, it would probably have been him who fell. It seems that finding Bis or Bardos to solve the disadvantages of his own free and extreme will is on the agenda. Let's restore the planet of Adrat first. Qin Feng looked at the planet Adrat, which had disappeared, and then took out the Namek Star Dragon Ball from the system backpack. Because of his own reasons, the planet Adrat was destroyed, and Pibala and others were also killed, and he was really a little unhappy. After the seven Dragon Balls were taken out, Qin Feng said the spell to summon the Divine Dragon in Namek Star language. A golden halo instantly appeared on the Dragon Ball. Then a golden light rose into the sky, and then it turned into the divine dragon Balanga. It is exactly the same as the new dragon of the seventh universe, Namek. It's just a huge green toad. Tell those whom I have summoned to say what you want. I can do three of any wish. Quote. Balanga looked at Qin Feng and said in a deep voice. Restore the planet that was destroyed just now to its original appearance, and resurrect all the people who were killed on the planet Adarat. Qin Feng said to Balanga. Got it. Balunga nodded, and then a scarlet glint flashed in his eyes. Um. All right, your first wish has been fulfilled, now say the second wish, shall we? Soon Palenga had his first wish. There is no second one. Chin Feng said lightly. Although the energy of Namek star Balenga is stronger than that of the Earth's divine dragon, its ability is limited after all. He has nothing left to help him substantially. Although I thought about asking for 10,000 fairy beans, I thought about it. A fairy bean in the system backpack is only 10 exchange value. And when you learn the recovery technique of the planet Yadrat, you won't need to fight at all. Since there is no second wish, then there will be a period later. The voice of the divine dragon Balunga fell, and then directly turned into seven golden ones, flying out in seven different directions. Shout! Chin Feng's body flashed out. Soon the Dragon Ball was brought back again. Although Palenga has nothing to help him improve. But after all, it's still a bit useful to keep this thing, like today's restoration of the planet Adrat, if you don't have it, it's really a little troublesome. Then Qin Feng returned to the planet of Adrat again. Mr. Qin Feng, were we all killed just now? Pibala looked at Qin Feng who suddenly appeared, and asked with some confusion. Yes, I'm sorry you were killed once. Qin Feng said with some embarrassment. Although they have been resurrected, it is estimated that no one will like to die for no reason. Kill once. And now are we. Pibala was obviously a little confused, they had indeed been killed by those powerful Qi just now. But now, how is it resurrected? I just made a wish to the dragon of Namek, so that you all come back to life. By the way, Elder Pibala's Qi control method is indeed very effective. If we can, I think we can continue to cultivate. Qin Feng said to Pibala. Whether it was fighting Topper or Jillian just now, he could feel that his qi had improved greatly. And the control of qi is more perfect, and when attacking and defending, it will not waste power in vain. Okay. After coming back from the dead, Pibala and the others were naturally very excited, and hurriedly said to Qin Feng. They were still very grateful to Qin Feng in their hearts. Although this matter started because of Qin Feng, he wanted to pat his ass after the destruction of the planet Adrath, and no one could stop him. Then he began to continue to cultivate without distractions. Because he had tasted the sweetness of Longxi Sibito, Qin Feng was now cultivating very seriously. And just like that, time passed day by day. Six days passed quickly. Elder Pibala, didn't you say that there would be artificial lifeforms attacking the planet Adrath? It's been more than 10 days, and there doesn't seem to be any movement. After cultivating, Qin Feng looked at Pibala and asked. Before, he seemed to say that in a few days, the invaders would come. But now, 10 days later, the invaders have not been found. 
I don't know too much about this, maybe they are still planning something, right? Pibala thought for a moment and said. I am also very puzzled by this matter. Buzz. Just as Pibala's voice fell, suddenly there was a deafening buzzing sound in the sky. Chin Feng looked up and saw several huge spaceships. It was very fast, and landed on the planet Yadrat almost instantly. They. Here it comes. Quote. Pibala's face changed, and he said to Chin Feng. Is it finally here? Let's go. Let's check it out. Quote. Chin Feng stood up, smiled and said. It seems that all the creatures who came this time were artificial lifeforms, because they didn't feel any chi fluctuations. Hem. Pibala nodded. Then the two of them directly teleported over. Sure enough, two of the four huge spaceships landed in a valley. Creek. After the hatch opened, countless robots walked out of the spaceship in a very neat manner. This kind of thing is too easy to deal with. Chin Feng looked at the hundred or so robots and said with some disappointment. This kind of robot can't raise any desire to fight at all. Just when Chin Feng was extremely disappointed, two figures appeared in the spaceship again. One of them gave Chin Feng a very familiar feeling. That guy is very similar to the killer hit in the sixth universe, and it can be said that there are eight points of similarity. It's the same cold expression, but there are three small energy furnace-like things in the center of the misremembered eyebrows in front of him. Cyborgs. Chin Feng looked at the guy who looked like XIT, pursed his lips and said. Although I don't feel the anger of this guy, I have some interest in him. Mr. Chin Feng, he is our most feared aggressor, his name is Seabensley. Pibala looked at the guy who resembled Hit, and spoke. Sabernsley. Is he powerful? Chin Feng looked at Pibala and asked. Although I can't feel his anger, an artificial person shouldn't be too rebellious, right? His personal strength can't be compared to you, Mr. Chin Feng, at all. But he has an ability to copy, as long as he grabs the neck, he can copy the ability of the person who is caught. Pibala reminded Chin Feng. If the copied person is strong, Sabinsley's strength will also become strong. I see, that's a lot of fun. Chin Feng looked at that Sabernsley and said with a smile. Copying someone else's abilities and powers, the ability to seem to have seen in a certain Dragon Ball fanfiction. However, he can only copy the abilities of three people, that is, whichever of the three gems on his forehead appears, he can get that person's abilities. And everyone's ability can only last 30 minutes. Pibala explained to Chin Feng again. Only three people to copy, for 30 minutes. I'll just say, if he can replicate infinitely, it will be too rebellious. Chin Feng suddenly realized. If this guy really has that ability, it is estimated that it is not impossible to become the top powerhouse in the universe. Yo Pibala, did you get a helper? At this time, the android standing next to Sapinsley suddenly spoke. There was a mocking tone in his voice. But today, the planet of Adrat will become our territory, and you lowly people will disappear completely. You guys give me and get rid of those two little bugs. The android pointed at Chin Feng and Pibala, and directly gave the order to kill. Anyway, they came this time to conquer the planet Adrath. The voice of the android fell, and the hundred or so robots suddenly pounced towards Chin Feng and Pibala. Sabotage. Looking at the locust-like swooping robot, Chin Feng's indifferent voice opened his mouth lightly. Then a purple burst of destructive energy shot out from his fingertips. Woo. The destruction energy turned a few corners, directly stringing together more than a hundred and ten robots. It's like grilled shrimp skewers. Then all the robots suddenly turned into purple dots of light and disappeared without a trace. Phew. What the? What's going on? Quote. What just happened? My mechanical legion was destroyed in an instant. Quote. The artificial man who was still proudly speaking just now showed a frightened look on his face after seeing Chin Feng's method just now. Who the hell is that guy? With just a move of his fingers, he destroyed the robot that he had been researching and cultivating for more than 10 years. Grunt. Pibala swallowed hard, and then looked at Chin Feng in shock. Well, it's so strong, you can solve so many robots at your fingertips. Quote. It's a little too outrageous. Sapinsley, go kill that thing for me. The android's face was very gloomy, and he ordered to Sabernsley. Hearing the cyborg's command, Sapinsley didn't speak, but his body flashed out. Then his body suddenly flashed out and attacked Chin Feng directly. 
This guy's speed and strength are very average, and it is estimated that he doesn't even have the strength of the Super 3 Monkey Kings. It seems that his trump card is to copy someone else's abilities. Syllable. Chin Feng lightly caught Si Bansley's fist. Said lightly, I think you should also have your own consciousness, follow me in the future. Quote. I can make you stronger. Chin Feng took a fancy to this guy's copying ability. Although his replication would only last 30 minutes, a battle would last that long at most. And if he copied his abilities, he probably would become stronger, right? Hearing Chin Feng's words, Sebensley's brows furrowed, he looked at Chin Feng, and did not speak. Sebensley, hurry up and copy that guy's abilities and kill him. At this point, the android commanded again loudly at Sebensley. Hearing that voice, Chin Feng obviously saw boredom and anger on Sebensley's face. However, he still flashed his body and jumped behind Chin Feng, ready to grab Chin Feng's neck. Chin Feng turned around, and Si Bensley's hand hadn't grabbed Chin Feng's neck yet. And Chin Feng's index finger and middle finger were already on the center of his eyebrows. If you dare to move again, I'll make you disappear completely. Chin Feng said coldly to Si Bensley. After saying that, purple destructive energy appeared on his fingertips. I. I had control and explosive devices set up in my body. Quote. C. Bensley gritted his teeth tightly and said to Chin Feng. Is that so? Can that guy be lifted? Chin Feng glanced at the android and asked. He's the one who came up with my Dr. Pagani, so he can disarm those devices. Sebensley said to Chin Feng. Shout. In the next second, Chin Feng's body suddenly appeared in front of Dr. Pagani, and his fingertips were aimed at Dr. Pagani's eyebrows. Disarm Sebensley's controls and explosive devices, and maybe die. Pick one for yourself. Quote. Chin Feng's tone was cold, and the killing intent in his eyes was awe-inspiring. Dr. Pagani's heart shuddered, and he felt like he was being killed at any moment. You can't die, you can't die in this kind of place. But Sabinsley is his most proud work, and it is also his trump card, so if he gives him over to others like this, he is really unwilling. Chin Feng's fingertips suddenly appeared with destructive energy. At that moment, Dr. Pagani felt that death was closer to him. I. I could remove Sepinsley's controls, but I had one condition, let me go. Quote. Dr. Pagani said to Chin Feng. As long as you are alive, there is hope that if you can study one Sepinsley, then you can study two, three, or even more. You're not qualified to negotiate terms with me now, understand. Chin Feng's eyes shot out a rich killing intent, and the destructive energy was already infinitely close to Dr. Pagani's eyebrows. Well. Okay. I'll take Sabernsley's grip out of it right away. Quote. Dr. Pagani sensed Chin Feng's unhesitating killing intent, and quickly nodded in horror. He is not a pure artificial human, but a real human being, but he has modified his own body. So I have the weakness of human beings, that is, I am afraid of death, and I am very afraid of death. Then Dr. Pagani took out a remote control and pressed two buttons. My lord, Sepinsley's controls and explosive devices have been disarmed, please. Let me live. Quote. Pagani swallowed in fright, and begged for mercy at you. I'm sorry, I'm going to make Sebensley the only one in this world, so you. Can't stay. Quote. Chin Feng's voice fell, and with a slight lift of his fingers, the purple destructive energy instantly penetrated Pagani's brain. Without even screaming, the body disappeared. Pibala was already a little stunned, he didn't expect Mr. Chin Feng to be so strong. Pagani, they simply have no power to resist. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.